And we're live. Philly Farmhouse, would you please report to the stadium? And we're live. Philly Farmhouse, would you please report oh, no. to the stadium? And we're live. What the heck? Hello? Hello? All right. Hello. Let's try this again. Anybody here? Frilly Farmhouse, take a link. Oh, let me drop the link. Hold on. Let me invite you. Let me invite you. Copy. Okay. There's the link. Really, really farmhouse. Could you please, Beijing Frilly Palm Farmhouse, would you please report to the stadium a Pink Lady Lux live stream? Take a link and bring your bring your proof. Let's have a discussion. You want to be friends? We could be BFFs, you know, right? Let's talk about this. Stop hiding. You're going to get hungry. You're going to have to come out eventually. Hi, Rosie. Roll call. Rosie, thank you for coming. Ready to have some fun? Rosie, are you the only one in here? Never have I ever, Rosie, won a hot dog eating contest. Have you ever won a hot dog eating contest, Rosie? <laughs> oh, God. You don't have to share if you don't want. We're just trying to get to know each other better. I have not, but I know the secret. I know the secret to eating as many hot dogs as you can. Wet the buns. Wet the buns. Okay, Rosie, want another one? We'll wait till more people get in here. Bring your frilly farmer lady. That's right. Frill, uh, Rosie, have you ever paid for sex? Gypsy Lee. Yeah, she's now the traveling gypsy. Come out, come out. Where it, you know what? She might be at the corners of some parking lots playing the violin. Playing the violin. So if you see these people performing out there, um, keep an eye out. There is a picture of her on her page from a live stream from 2020 that you will see. So you'll get a good picture of her for identification purposes only. Okay. I don't expect anyone to share the picture. Take a snap. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. No, no, no. No, but just as an identification, so you can keep an eye out. There's a bolo out for her. No, but they would have paid me for it if I had asked. Whoa, 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 oh, oh. Anybody been caught driving without a license? Anyone ever been caught driving without a driver's license? I have, oh, I have, I have, but I was, I didn't get fined for that. I just didn't have my license on me because I had lost it, but I was never ticketed for no license on me. Nope. But maybe they mean uh, driving without a valid license, like having your license suspended. I don't know why people do that. Do you know how many people I know that get busted for driving with a suspended license? I wouldn't have the guts to even take a chance because my luck, I would get pulled over. Period. Okay. Never have I ever. Faked a drug test. Never have. Have you ever faked a drug test? Not I. I know 
a couple of people who have and got away with it when um, weed wasn't legal and they would buy this drink online and it actually worked actually worked but I don't recommend it I guess it's you and me Rosie okay Never have I ever shared embarrassing secrets about my ex. Hmm. The only thing I can think about is when my ex came home with a hi ladybug with a friggin' perm. Okay. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> Honey, do you like it? Oh yeah, you look great. Uh no, no. I couldn't even look at him straight in the eye. He looked like Bozo the Clown. I'm like, why? Tonda, hello. Never have I ever fought over a pet with an ex. Have you ever, you know how people fight over kids? Disciplining them, whatever. Have you ever had a fight? with an ex fighting over a pet, or even if it wasn't your ex. Do you ever fight over your animals? Good evening, Tonda. All right, we're gonna, you have Ladybug. That's gonna be tough, because I'll tell you. My son dated this girl. They were together for a couple of years. They wanted to adopt a dog. And I was like, you know what? Don't. Because if you guys break, oh, we're never breaking up. They went through a process of interviews. This place that they adopted from, it was out of state. They both had to go through interviews. Um, so we fell in love with this dog. Her name's Daisy. Sure enough, they broke up. They broke up. And it sucks. It sucks because Daisy was so attached to us. And I wanted visitation rights. I wanted visitation rights. But my son was like, no, I don't want her in my life. And I'm like, no, but I want the dog in my life. So that sucks. He has a small one. After we parted ways, I was told people at the bar that he was gay. He was a good guy, though, and still helped take care of me until he married. Oh. Okay. All right. What kind of trivia do you guys? Uh, we have nostalgic American trivia, sex trivia quiz questions that aren't too bad. They're not like raunchy, okay? Um, literature, medical medicine, mythology, TV. Uh, crime. Now, everybody is a winner here, okay? And I think down the road, I will start dressing up again. I just, um, when I had moved, I packed a lot of things in boxes, and I don't know where they are right now. They're still in boxes somewhere. Hey, Ginger Locks, good to see you. Thanks for being here. All right. Let's start off with some sexuality trivia, okay? Let's get right to it. Okay, so in 1930, the Vatican gave its approval for married couples to use what form of birth control? In 1930, the Vatican, you know where the Pope hangs out? gave permission for married couples to use what form of birth control? Everyone's a winner. Easy one. Okay, Tonda, I'll do easy ones. No Googling, because you're just cheating yourself. How would you sleep at night? Come on. No cheating, please. No Googling, please. You're only cheating yourself. Hi, Muffin Mouse, the pull. 
Oh, the pull-out method? No, but good, excellent guess. Excellent guess. The pill? No. The Vatican is against the pill. Still, I think. Married 25 years. He was a Marine and hired a PI when he, he was caught with a man. Oh. Or condoms? Mm, good guess, Rosie. I'm glad everyone's taking their time and thinking about this. Um, no, but good guess. What can I give for a hint? It begins with the letter R. I'll try not to use the Boston accent and say ah. R, as in radio. It's considered a form of birth control. R. <laughs> Rubber. <laughs> no, good guess. <laughs> good guess. Not the rubber, like the condom, no. Pull out the winky, mm -mm. nope. Hi, Angela. Okay, I'll repeat the question one more time. What was the question? Something about the Pope. In 1930, the Vatican gave its approval for married couples to use what form of birth control? Now, if you were living in 1930, you would know this. So I know it's a little difficult for a lot of you who are younger than us. Hi, Jenny. So in 1930, oh, there we, no Googling. Yes, Angela, the rhythm method, the rhythm method, restraint during ovulation, or maybe even abstinence. But no, the Vatican in 1930 gave approval, permission for married couples to practice the rhythm method. I'm trying to figure out then what, before 1930, what was recommended? right? What was recommended before then? So they needed a permission to use the rhythm. So what did they do prior? Oh, Deb. Oh, maybe. Some people, believe it or not, way back then, only, you know, when they wanted a child. They only, you know, you know, when they wanted to conceive. True story. That's why they have 10 kids. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, Angela. Excellent. Does anyone know what depilation, depilation refers to? What practice does Depilation refer to D E P I L A T I O N. Oh, these are all sex related. Okay. Depilation. Prior to the rhythm, I think they abstained probably. No Tonda, but good guess. Depilation. Jenny has no clue. Thank, thank you for your honesty. No cheaters here. No cheaters here. Everyone's a winner. Depilation. Uh, it is spelled D-E-P-I-L-A-T-I-O-N. Many of you may currently practice this. Okay. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, yes. Which kind of hair, though? Sleeping beer? Yep. Uh, well, it just, it, it centered to a particular region of the human body. Very good. And some of you may actually practice this. Not body hair. 
it says in this forum, it says shaving pubic hair. Face hair, crotch. Yes, sleeping bear. You are correct. You are correct. There will be a quiz at the end of this live stream, so I expect everybody to pay attention. Class, class, class. The Vatican, we're back to the Vatican, issued an official approval for what anti impotence drug in 1997? The Vatican issued an official approval for what for what anti impotence drug in 1997? Crisscross applesauce. <laughs> oh yes, pubic hair. Yvette, it's so good to see you. Where, where have you been? Where have you been, Yvette? What channels are you hanging out in? I haven't seen you in here in quite some time. Viagra, yes. And uh, you are correct. In 1997, the Vatican approved uh, the anti-impotence drug. Yes. Jeez, being Catholic is tough. You know, you got to get approvals and you got to get permissions and stuff like that. Good to see you, Yvette. What, what U.S. state made male masturbation illegal by law with some medical exceptions in 2014? The hell? What U.S. state made male masturbation illegal by law with some medical exceptions in 2014? Oh, I got to look this one up. I got to look this one up. Hold on. Oh my God. Any guesses to what state? Utah, no, good guess. Arkansas, Utah, 2014, Texas, Elizabeth, yes, Texas. And let me, let's read about this, okay? Here's an article from uh, The Independent, Thursday, May 9th, 2019. A bill that would see Texas men fined $100 for masturbating has taken a step closer to becoming law after it received its first reading in the state's House of Representatives under Section 173.010 of the House Bill 4260 the man's right to no act, Texas men would only be allowed to masturbate under supervision inside approved health care in medical facilities. Wow. Any unregulated unregul masturbatory emissions outside of a woman's vagina or created outside of a health and medical facility will be charged a $100 civil penalty for each emission and will be considered an act against an unborn child and failing to preserve the sanctity of life. O-M-G. Yeah. The bill created by State Representative Jessica Farrar of Houston would also promote fully abstinent sexual relations and create a hospital master masturbatory assistance registry to provide full abstinent encouragement counseling. What the? 
It's allowing Texas men only occasional masturbatory emissions inside the approved facilities. The bill would insist that the resulting semen be stored for the purpose of conception for a current or future wife. But before the men of Texas panic, they should note that Miss Farrar is not being entirely serious. The Texas Democrats knows her bill has no hope of becoming law and has introduced it to satire how women have been affected by targeted health care legislation in her state. Hence the references to sanctity sanctity of life and anti-masturbation clauses that appear to take Monty Python's advice that every sperm is sacred to its logical legal conclusion. Well, that's good. It's not really true. Hi, buddy cat. Hi, J. May. You know what? Yes. Let men's bodies be regulated for a change. I agree. But they often say, you know, let men take a form of birth control pill. I wouldn't trust them to take it every day. Nope. Because they're not the ones that get pregnant, you know, so I would not trust a man to take responsibility. Most of them don't even buy a condom. The women usually end up buying the condoms. That would be a messed up job to be the masturbation cap, right? And this was just eight years ago. Yes, Rosie. Yes. Okay. Well, hey, Thanksgiving's coming up. That's a good conversation to have around the Thanksgiving table. A. Eh? Okay. I mean, write these down. This would be great. You could have a game of trivia at the Thanksgiving table. Okay. The word masturbation comes from a Latin word meaning what? The word masturbation comes from a Latin word meaning what? Good to see everyone. Yvette, my husband is from Texas and we have to have a family conversation. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. This one is from uh, the website, The Independent in the United Kingdom. Um, Soothe, no, but good guess, good guess. So close, but yet so far. Self-love, no, no. Messy hand, <laughs> uh, no. Excellent guess, excellent guess. These are all wonderful guesses, okay? The word masturbation comes from the Latin word meaning what? Stimulation. Kim, another excellent guess. No. Messy hand. No. Do you give up? I don't think anyone will get this. What it means, masturbation in Latin means to pollute oneself. Ugly man plays. <laughs> Right. To pollute oneself. That is uh, love thyself. Mm. Good guesses. Good guesses. So proud of all of you people. Okay, J. Uh, J. G. Ballard, Ballard, 
is best known for writing what erotic novel? Initials J and G, Ballard, B-A-L-L-A-R-D, is best known for writing what erotic novel? Anyone of you read erotic novels? What erotic novel did J.G. Ballard write? And it was published in 1973. It is a story about car crash sexual fetishism. Its protagonists, oh, I lost my place. It's basically about fetishes, fetishes, fetishes. No, it's not. Got me out of the page. Uh, its protagonists become sexually arousing by staging and participating in real car crashes inspired by the famous crashes of celebrities. And J.G. Ballard is from the United Kingdom. Yes. Yes, Kim, it is crash. Why you want to, mm, Ronald Reagan. Fifty Shades of Grey, good guess. I probably would have guessed that too. I never saw the movie, nor did I ever read the book. Debbie does evil Knievel. He really wrote that Reagan book, no kidding. Okay, we learned something new here, okay? All right, a couple more uh, in this category. Um, what famous inventor also invented the first peep show machine? What famous inventor invented the first peep show machine? Oh my, you're smart. Yes, Merb, no. Oh my God, that's a great answer, Kim. Merb, no. Excellent. That, you should get a prize just for that. Best comment, best comment. No, it is, yes. Yes, Elizabeth. Uh, Yvette, yeah, Edison, Thomas Edison invented the first peep show machine. That dirty dog. Wonder if his wife approved. Okay. What sex therapist had a computer game called the game of good sex? What sex therapist had a computer game called The Game of Good Sex? Thomas Edison. And you thought he just invented the light bulb. Mm. I mean, that's really like, bring it up on Thanksgiving around your family. Ask them, you know, do you, do you know other things that Thomas Edison invented? Dr. Ruth, yes. Dr. Ruth, yes, Sleeping Bear Kim, had a computer game called The Game of Good Sex. So if Barbie... What would bar be bar the Barbie doll? What would Barbie's measurements be if she was life size? If she was life size, what would her measurements be?
Any guesses? There's three measurements, the bust, the waist, the hips. But 36 deep for the, uh, for the chest, no. 36, 24, 36. No, good guess though. Jenny Barnes, unrealistic, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Fun fact, Nikola Tesla thought electricity should be free. Why profiteer is back to Edison. Mm, interesting. No clue. Okay. Barbie's measurements would be 39, 23, 33. 39, 23, 33. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get into some nostalgic, American nostalgic trivia questions, okay? Um, in New Jersey, <clears throat> there is a museum with 5,400 exhibits of what? In New Jersey, there is a museum with 5,400 exhibits of what? That's a lot of exhibits. They've changed Barbies. Why did Ken have no body parts? Good question. Good, well, I would suppose because it's illegal to expose the sex organs in public outside of the body. That's why they can show they would not, they would show, you know, in movies and stuff, women, because their sex organs were inside. <laughs> this was way back. Um, and they weren't allowed at that time to show, to show men. Tikupa seashells. Good. Oh, Kim, you're in a row. Excellent question. You are correct. No, I'm only kidding. You are not correct. You are not correct. Mummy Rambling's blog has a museum in New Jersey with 5,400 decoupage shells on display. Animal poop. No. Ginger Lux pizza. Pizza? A pizza museum? You give up? The answer is spoons, spoons. So next time you're in Jersey, go visit the Spoon uh, Museum. Okay, so you guys know the, the group, the Brownies, right? Like uh, Girl Scouts, the younger group is called Brownies. What were they previously called before the, the junior girl guides? What were they previously called before they were brownies? They were called something else. Bluebirds. No, Tonda, good guess. That was Campfire Girls. How do I know that? Because I was a bluebird. And I would never flew up to Campfire Girls. I refused to wear a skirt. So I would put pants under the skirt. And the house den mothers, one particular one didn't like me. She thought I was sassy. I was very much a tomboy. I could not stand skirts. Pixie Elf, no. Little Debbie's, no. Greenies, no. No, I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's the same name um, as a famous sled. Did I lose it? Yeah, same name as a famous sled. Brownies are Boy Scouts' favorite desserts. I bet. The good one. Smiles. No, Tonda was a brownie. 
Okay, they before they were called before brownies, they were called rosebuds. To bargain. <laughs> Rosebud. They were called rosebuds. So if you have grandparents or elderly mom or dads, ask them at the Thanksgiving table if they were ever a rosebud. Okay. What name is the most common for Playboy centerfolds? What name is the most common for Playboy centerfolds? No, it is not Pauline, but good guess. <laughs> oh, those scout leaders, Rosebud. Yeah, right? Red Racer. Pinup. But what was the most common name for the centerfolds? And I'll give you a hint. It's not common now, but it was common definitely during the 60s and 70s. It began with the letter S. Nope. It begins with the letter S. You got kicked out at age 12? Really? You did too? Scarlet. No. Good guess, though. Chantel, no, excellent guess. Sleeping beer, close, very close. But it's a longer name than that. Showgirls, no, longer name than Sue. Marilyn, mm. begins with the letter S. Sue is short for what word? Subi, Suzanne, nope, nope, Shannon, nope, Susan, ah, uh, yes, yes, everyone, Susan, Susan was the most popular name, is the, well, they say it still is, um, okay, Back to nostalgia. I keep going back to the sex trivias. Um, eighty-five percent of all women wear the wrong size. What? Eighty-five percent of all women wear the wrong size. What? This should be easy. Yes. Yes, good job, you all. The bra, 85% of all women, hi, Freudian slippers, wear the wrong size bra. No, Jamie, it's Susan. Just plain Susan. Okay. Uh, let's see, hold on. And if you guys have trivia um, question or questions, write them in the chat. I'll pin them. Who was the first criminal to top the FBI 10 most wanted list? Who was the first criminal to top the FBI most wanted list? Yes, the bra. The bra. I think I'm behind with YouTube and Al Capone, no. Charles Manson, no. Excellent answers though. 
This happened, I'll give you a hint, it happened in, in 1950. My sister's name is Susan. She's the most repressed woman I know. And um, he was arrested in 1961 in Beaverton, Oregon, following a tip from a citizen who read a wire service story in Portland, Oregon, by the newspaper, the Oregonian and contacted the FBI. Not a person's birthday trivia question, pin scene, no. Uh, he was a train and bank robber. First he started out with robbing payroll deliveries and then train and bank robberies. Um, and his most successful heist, well, with other people, was the 1926 hijacking of a U.S. mail truck at Evergreen Park, Illinois. They escaped with $135,000. Whose birthday is not today? Not a person. Whose birthday is not today? Not a per. I don't even understand the question. Who... What birthday is it today? Not a person. I have no idea. Is today. Oh, well, that's more like a riddle. That's excellent though. What two mammals lay eggs? Mm, mammals don't lay eggs. Oh, the trivia question uh, for the FBI, uh, Thomas James Holden. Thomas James Holden. Clyde, good guess. Not Oregon, Oregon. Yeah, whatever. Well, I knew I knew I was someone was gonna say something. Platypus must be a country. Okay, what two mammals? Spit it out. Platypus? I don't think mammals lay eggs. Do some world world trivia. Uh, what is a quad quadriga? Q U A D quad riga R I G A quadriga. U.S. Marines Corps. 274th birthday. Oh, mammals lay eggs? I don't know. Who was the bank robber? Thomas James Holden. Thomas, uh, and he was, you know, if, if you ever heard of the Holden Keating gang, they were a bunch of thugs back in the early, uh, in the late 20s, early 1930s. A changing Merb mobile. Well, thank your husband for his service. Okay. What is a quadriga? No, it is not four shells glued together. Horse down carriage. Horse dawn carriage. Uh, a Roman four horse chariot. Close enough, close enough.
Okay. Uh, that one's too easy. What is the smallest breed of dog? What if all you dog love is, what is the smallest breed of dog? What is the smallest breed of dog? Chihuahua, yes. Yes, excellent. Teacup Yorkie, another good question. I mean, answered that. I I almost would have guessed that as well, but it is Chihuahua. You can't spell Chihuahua. Yeah, that's a hard word to spell. And I had a Chihuahua too, and I still couldn't spell it. Chihuahua, -wa. Chihuahua. -wa. All right, I'm gonna post the link if anyone wants to take a link up open mic night. We can still do trivia. If you want to talk about something, uh, um, Philly farmhouse, you are now being paged. Please report to the pink lady luck live stream along with your proof. Please take a link. It is very important and it's very necessary. Thank you. I repeat, Friendly Farmhouse, we know you are MIA. There is still a silver alert out active for your uh, search and recovery. Please report to the Pink Lady Luck live stream immediately and take a link. Thank you. Hmm. Girl named Rita with four legs. Okay, this one might be a little tough, but if you're a history buff, you may get this. In which war was the Battle of Nasibi fought? In which war was the Battle of Nasibi fought? I would have answered probably t uh, Toy Poodle. But it's, they said the smallest breed, the smallest breed. You love the bullhorn. Yeah, I've had this bullhorn a long time. Longer than Betty Bullhorn. Did you hear the oopsie that Betty Bullhorn, the protester did today on her live stream? She went to look up Georgia law and she got on the website and started reading it but the dumbass looked up the country, Georgia. Yeah, she's not so bright. She looked up the country, Georgia. World War II. No, good guess, though. It was before World War II. Before World War II. Okay, so that's the Battle of Nasibi. Where was... Uh, was fought in which war was the Battle of Nasibi fought? Isn't Georgia isn't Georgia part of Russia? Uh, I believe so. Um, but I think it's between, I think it used to be Russia, like the former Soviet Union. But I don't think it's, technically it's not Russian, it's not in Russia now, but I think it was former Soviet Union Republic. If I, the War of Napkins, Sleeping Bar. Oh my God, another excellent answer. You are correct. 
You are correct. No, you know you're not. <laughs> British Civil War is close. Technically, all right, I'll just tell you. Techni the English Civil War. The English Civil War. Um, which Australia Australia blah blah. Which Australian outlaw wore homemade armor? So if you're into international crime stuff, which Australian outlaw wore homemade armor? That was the same thing. Well, listen, listen, if you were on Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune, you would not win, okay? I'm trying to be professional here, Mandy. How are you? <laughs> oh, my God. The British Civil War. The Tin Man. No. Uh, it was, um, he was an Australian bush ranger, outlaw, gang leader, and convicted police murderer. And he wore a suit of bulletproof armor during his final shootout with the police. And this happened in the uh, in Australia. And he died November eleventh, eighteen eighty, at age twenty-five. Hang on a minute. Google told me it's the British Civil War. Thank you. Thank you. What have I missed? Just some trivia. Can you imagine Pink as a game show host? And she says, you you got your wrong your answer wrong, you loser. Yeah, I bet you were looking forward to that $500, you loser. You got the answer wrong. I need the exact answer in the exact spelling. Your cousin was on Jeopardy, Mandy? Awesome. Look at, on Jeopardy, I don't even understand the questions, okay? What is, or like, and then they gotta make it in the form of an answer. I can't even understand that. Give me a break. You already answered, Ned Kelly. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Ned Kelly, there will be a quiz at the end of this live stream. Edward, well, they called him Edward. You have to be exact. What's a bush ranger? Ranger. He was an Australian bush ranger. Sounds like, like our American forest rangers. Like he's a ranger in the bush. I'll take Merv for five <laughs> Can you imagine Murr being in a category? You're doing great, Jenny. No one's a loser here. Everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. That's a bush ranger. Now, if they had a Murr category, I would probably do very well. Whose bush was he in? Good question. Uh, yeah, Australian bush ranger, an outlaw. So I think it's like an American forest ranger. Like those cowboys bank robbers. Bush ranger. Let me just look it up. So... I think it's an occupation. Bush Ranger. It's one word. Okay.
Oh, it's not a car. Oh, bush rangers were originally escaped convicts in the early years of the British settlement of Australia who used the bush as a refuge to hide from the authorities. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's like living in the outback. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to old TV shows, old TV shows. November 28th, 1948. What was the first TV Western in the United States? In 1948, what was the first TV Western in the United States? 1948, you'd pick Robin Hood if you had to choose a favorite criminal type. No, like living in newly settled towns, same as your outlaws. Gun smoke. Good answer, but no. But he answered no. This is 19, think about the date. We're talking 1938. Nineteen thirty-eight. Ponderosa. Hop along. Yes, Angela. You can't. Uh, you're Angela Critters, You are disqualified. The wrong spelling. Hop along, Cassidy. Yes. Long Ranger. Isn't it the Lone Ranger? The Long Ranger. You remember watching Hop Along? I don't. I don't think I do. Um, what was Woody Woodpecker's girlfriend's name? Woody Woodpecker had a girlfriend. Do you remember her name? It was before my time. You didn't get telly till 1956 in Australia. Wow. What was Woody the Woodpecker's girlfriend's, no, not Daffy, girlfriend's name? Did I lose it? No. Give up? Yeah, Winnie. Yes. Yes, Sleeping Bar. And anybody who guessed it, raw high. No, Winnie. Winnie. Yes, Winnie was Woody Wood. But I don't even remember he had a girl. Well, maybe I do. I don't remember that. Um, Winnie Woodpecker. Anybody know in 1964, who did Fess Parker play? Fess Parker. 1964. Oh my God, Angela, did you write that before I asked the question? Wilma. No, that was Fred Flintstone's wife. You didn't know Woody had a girlfriend. 
Okay, well, the answer's kind of out there from Angela. Fess Parker played Daniel Boone. Do you remember the theme song? Daniel Boone was the man, was the big man. Anybody want a link? A link? Want to come up? Festus on Gunsmoke. You met Chuck Connors of the Rifleman. Oh. Cool. Thomas Edison. So I, I do hope that um, you present all these trivia questions to your family and loved ones around the Thanksgiving table this year. What was the theme song for the Oscar nominated film, The Full Monty? What was the theme song for the Oscar nominated film, The Full Monty? Did I miss the ex Rambler call in? No, I don't need, she can come up if she'd like to. I'll put the link in again. Um, yeah, she can come up. And maybe if she comes up, maybe another ex Rambler can come up just to make her feel even more comfortable because I was not an ex, I was not a Rambler. I was never a Rambler, but um, you know, I think maybe if someone else is up too that she knows um, from them being a Rambler, um, it might be helpful. But yeah, she's welcome to absolutely come up. It's safe here. And maybe um, I can text a few people and ask them to come over. Yeah, Sleeping Bear, would you like to come up? Oh, Micah, you're behind. I think, Micah, you're you're not all the way to the live stream. I think Micah is way behind. <laughs> I've done that before. I've started listening in the middle of someone's live stream and um, started talking. And people were like, what are you talking about? Yvette is going to have a long talk about masturbation in Texas. I think wherever you're from, Regard, you know, say you're from a different state, it would it would be funny to have that talk, but mention your state and say, yeah, legislation is putting it through. It's you know, um, it's a great topic to have. Alone? No, you're up here with me, Jay May. Are you still in here? Jay May will come up. By right, Jay May, I can get some people over here. Um, All right, I just texted someone. Maybe Jay May left. Let me text her. Let me text her. Okay. All right, I texted a couple of people. 
The judge, my wife, has a headache 365 days a year. I had to spank the monkey. <laughs> All right, Nana Patty's coming over. Um, so Sleeping Bear, um, it would be great if, if you want to take a link. Um, I think people are curious, and they certainly, you don't have to identify yourself, you know. Oh, this, all right, Jay May, you can turn your camera off, honey. And I look like crap because I'm still sick, but I'm, I'm getting better. You're good as long as you're getting better. Yeah, sinus infection. You don't have the headaches, do you? Well, I have the face aches. My cheekbones are exploding, but I'm I'm I don't want to gripe about it. I hate it when I just hate thinking about it. Anyway, yeah, former Ramblers, boy, I got that dialed in. Hold on, Mandy C. I don't believe that. Angela? Angela, oh, Angela P? I don't know who Angela P is. Oh, sorry, Nana Patty. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Jamie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You know, I don't get sick very often, but when I do, oh boy. Yeah, sleeping bear, I, I dropped the link. Okay, Nana Patty, you can either keep your cam on or off. I'll, I'll bring you up. Okay. Hello. Okay, Nana Patty, you can either keep your cam on or off. I'll, I'll bring you up. You're just going to mute YouTube. Hello. Okay, you can either keep your cam on or off. I'll, I'll bring you up. You're just going to mute YouTube. There you go. Hi, Nana Patty. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for coming up, the both of you. Um, sure. All right. What's been going on? Hello. Hi, Sleeping Bear. How are you? I am doing wonderful. How are you girls doing tonight? I'm good. Thanks for hanging out with Trivia. It was fun. Yes, it is fun. Yeah. After yeah. all, one more day of the week and the week's over. That's right. That's right. So, um, Jay May is up here and Nana Patty. Um, Hi, Nana. I miss you. Just as an Hello. added support because I was never a rambler. Um, so, I think um, they can offer you, you know, more support than, than I can. So, yeah. Um, but, well. it, but I'm. You know, I'm glad. I know you told me you're doing okay, um, and that's that comes first and foremost. Right. You know, that you're okay, um, just based on other people who have left and what they've had to go through. Um, They're still going through it. Yeah, yeah. I was the quiet one. I all I listened to was um, a bunch of bad words, bad thoughts about people. And I'd sit there and listen, you know, and, you know, I'm the quiet one and I'll stay in the back. And I, you know, she would ask me, have you been over there? Have you seen this? Have you seen that? And I always would say, I don't go to those channels, but I do. I go. I just didn't want her to know what I was doing. Right. She doesn't need to know where I go and what I do. Right. I knew what it all was going, and I never had any dogs in the battle. I didn't take anybody's side. I was just there to observe. How, and long, how long were you uh, a sub channel subscriber there? I think about three years, wasn't it? Oh, wow. Okay. So quite a, a long time. time. A long yeah. time. Yeah. You were there quite a while. Yeah, I was. And I didn't cause any trouble. I was the quiet one, and... Sometimes I would, you know, and uh, to the point where it it was just getting insane, and I was getting kicked out of Slack for no reason, which I never did anything, and I said, you know what, I think it's a time for me to leave, because I said, can you put me in Slack, you know, and she would never, ever answer my emails. <laughs> so I said, well, then fine. 
you don't want me there. I don't want to be there, you know, I, or something to that effect. I'm sure she'll, she'll, she's listening right now, but I really don't care because people that talk behind anybody backs are worthless to me. Worthless. Um, the last few weeks, it was driving on me because I don't allow people to act like that in front of me in my real life. And here I'm sitting here listening to it. Uh, the Zooms were not what she says, constantly filled with road trips and auction things. They might be now. But usually, depending on what was going on and who, what was being said, mm -hmm. yeah, or how hyper she was, she would go dig real deep and calling. She would be even broadcasting whatever it was, and she, we would be listening to it, and she would be, oh, uh, just it was, it was horrible, and. I just got tired of it. And I says, I'm tired of this. I don't want need to be here anymore. I don't enjoy it. Yeah. I yeah. don't like it anymore. And actually, I quit liking it about April. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just, you know, stayed in because it was sort of like a habit. But did you also find, too, like I, I think a lot of the ex-Ramblers also mentioned that um, you develop friendships when you become part of these channels. Yes, I did. I, yeah, have, it, you know, yeah, many you don't friends. Need those friends. Yeah. You know, Nana Patty, Teresa, uh, Lisa D, Lisa H, uh, Muppets. I loved Rough and Ready. I mean, and Nicole was pleasant to me. I mean, she was always very nice to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just want to, you know, touch base and, you know, and then, and then it's as if I went into a slack. I went into a slack once through a, a community link. And I heard, keep it simple. You know, keep it simple. Don't talk about anything. Yeah. And just, you know, like I go, well, okay. You know, sometimes the machine works faster than theirs does, you know, and I heard, keep it simple, meaning don't talk about anything. And I felt like, wow. And that was the last time I was in Slack. And from then on, it's been, I've had nightmares over this. I had visions of my father who was a spiritualist and he kept coming into my dreams. Um, and, and and I never dream about my father unless something is, you know, hurting my soul. And after yeah. that, and he went away. I, I hated how she treated Nana. I don't know the complete story. But no one should be treated in any way like that. I mean, I, I, I super was upset how she treated Dandy. Mm -hmm. Because Dandy is the sweetest girl I have known on mm -hmm. on the live. She is. She's very sweet. She goes low, she goes deep, and she wants to hurt. She goes personal. She had the, the oh, one night she, when she was doing BBT, she wanted everybody to go in and find tam, uh, time stamps so they could get all the exact time frames so they could mass report. What else did she do? She wants everybody to record videos like this one going on now. So she can have a, a screen recording of it. Um, it what was it, the purpose? Did she say what the purpose was in that? Just to find anything out what they were saying about her. Hmm. And catching lies or somebody like like they said something they shouldn't have and then it was an accident. She wanted to catch them in lies. Okay. So um, I, I decided I come into Nana's Patties always under different names and and as I was talking to somebody, you know, I says, you know, I'm me. My name has always been Nancy M. It's always been Nancy M. Everywhere I go, 
It's always been Nancy Hem, unless it's some channel I really don't go to and I just don't want it out be out there. And then I go, God, I feel lonely. You know, here I am. I'm here, but no one knows it unless I tell it. And Dandy let it slip a few times, and bless her heart, I have nothing against that. But when she did it this past Sunday, I said, that's it. That's it. That's what I said. I needed to make a clean cut break and bring my name back. Somebody uh, is asking what 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 she says. What is that, Micah? What did she say about sour cream, or what she said about sour cream? Uh, well, after I was never in the Slack at that time, but um, I never heard anything about it. Yeah. Okay. I never heard anything. I was out of slack at that time. I was out of slack for two weeks. And and here's the rule. If you don't comment once at least month once a month or something, and I know I was commenting. And then I was out. I go, What the what the F is going on here? Really? So you you had to comment at least once a month to stay in Slack? Yes, if you're not, you're automatically booted out. As she says, to keep it clean and protected. Oh my God. They're yeah. worried about mole. Yes, they're always worried about moles. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be time. worried about a mole if you weren't doing something wrong. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I. True, Patty. Oh my God. That is so true. And mm -hmm. I have notes that I have taken about what was said and what was done. And I have my receipts, so she better not bug me. She better not bug me. She wrote me a nasty email when I said, oh, somebody told me that you were just buying and buying big and going this, but you owe, still owe me for those napkins. I'm going to report to you. Who is she going to report me to? I didn't get the product. It was It was on a PayPal. PayPal will say, hey, you still got your napkins. <laughs> then she sends me a, another request. I have no intention of paying that because I'll tell you one thing. I do I do decoupage shelves as, as a hobby and I sell them. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I do good and what I make is fine. And if I have a slow week, that's okay. I'm not out to make money. I'm yeah. not out to make money. So in order to get my business going, I have to go and find napkins, find the shelves, bond it and create a bond between a buyer and a seller, which we are where we're where we're we know each other and she they know I'll come back and buy more and they always give me a good price. Those napkins are overpriced. Mm -hmm. I don't care what she says. And those little tissue ones that she opens that she says, oh, you don't blow your nose. You can get 10 of them, 10 of them for $1.99. And I've seen them as low as $1.88. And she puts it in those $10, $15 packs, three of them. Yeah. It just, it that was it. That's another thing. It, it just got where... I felt she was ripping off people. Mm -hmm. You know, just do your research before you start <laughs> buying these. It's a very good hobby, and I'm glad she got me into it. I like it, like her for that. But it's been downhill for a, a while now. It's been downhill, downhill. I'm sure I'll get the heat on this one, but I really don't. has she has she stopped emailing you or trying to contact you? Uh, the last time she emailed me was on Sunday with an email and a request for two hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Um, yeah, yeah, and 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 it, uh, isn't that an old order, Nancy? Nancy? Yes, it is. Back from April. And then, yeah, you, you had know, had surgery. weren't you gone? Because you I was surgery? gone for school. I left early. I. And then I decided, you know what? I don't have to pay that. She still has her napkins. She'll survive. Mm -hmm. I'm not her cash cow anymore. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, 
Because I remember once you paid extra for napkins that no one would normally pay because you wanted to help her with her house taxes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You were very generous to her. I was, I was nice to her. I was just going to say that. I think people all this time have been overpaying as a way to help support her. Um, but if they wanted to, they certainly could have gotten those napkins elsewhere for a lot yeah. cheaper. A yeah. lot cheaper. So she should be grateful that people even paid her for what she was asking for, for that type of money. I even go over to the UK and there's a place where you can get them for 30, 33 or 37 cents a piece. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. It, it's we all know that she's overpriced those napkins. You know, I, I you know, it, it, yeah, I liked her. I, I, I liked her hobbies. Um, I didn't necessarily like, you know, that she was never open to someone else's opinion. If she thought she was right, she, you know, she, she made she she made some people feel really bad. Um, and so, Angela, you're right. Her help her with her house taxes. A grown man and woman, right? Two adults who are capable of working, who have no mortgage, to my understanding, who don't have a mortgage. Why I can't work. they pay their taxes? I mean, there, there, there's got to be a problem somewhere. Maybe she's overspending. Maybe they need a budget, you know? Um, Could be. You know, I, I work still. I enjoy working. Um. I'm I'm 66 years old. I as long as my knees hold up through my operation, I'm getting in May. Um, I love to work. Yeah, I'm gonna get dual. I'm gonna get both my knees done at once. You're a brave woman. I know, but you know what? I it's a time frame. I I can't take yeah. time off work. Um, right. So I. The doctor, he says, I normally don't do this, but I told him my plan, and he he says, wow, you really thought this one out. And I go, yes, I did. And he says, well, then I have no problem, you know, um, doing it because I'm going to go from the hospital to a rehab right away. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. I've known people that have had them done it both at the same time. You'll, you'll get through it. You have you to be through. very committed. I did get the yeah. gel shots. I did get the gel shots approved, and it does help. Like today, they're, I think the barometer is falling, so now they're feeling a little achy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm on Motrin 800s now, and that does the trick along with Tylenol. And, uh, you know, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm healthy in my mind. I'm healthy in my soul. Good. And my soul, my soul is what I needed to be healthy because... Absolutely. I, you yeah. know, I, I, I didn't I didn't even talk much when she was on because the reason why was I didn't want to be associated with them because I always told my kid, you know, if you hang around with people that act like that, you're going to be accused just as much as they are. Exactly. You're no longer going to be an individual. You're going to be no. considered part of the, the group. That, that right. gang mentality and that's what happens is you you when you surround yourself with people like that you do lose your individuality mm -hmm. so you know keeping your integrity and your good character is the best thing you can do you know and i i don't wish anything bad on verb i just wish she would just have a long conversation with herself just have a long conversation with herself where am i going with this where am i going with this you know, but I don't, I don't know if she's too far gone that she can't come back because that would mean a change. And, uh, you know, I wish her luck. I wish her will ill, but I just can't be there anymore. And I don't want to be harassed because I made that decision. And I'm sure she's taping this on her Zoom, but I don't care. You've got plenty of, you know, you've got plenty of support. Um, I know. I got Nana you. Patty. I got I got Dandy. I wrote her a letter. Um, yeah. No bond. 
And um, yeah, you got us. Um, I, I, you know that, you know that night when you came, when you had your craft night. It was a while back. It was back in um, oh god, when was it? it when happened. I did it with Jackie, me and Jackie. I, I came on. I I came on and I said hi. I go. Oh, this is a great channel to be at to to watch crafts because I was over at my son's house. I brought my shelves over, and then I just turned on my YouTube and I go. Oh wow, this is cool. You know, I was even thinking about going on it, and then all of a sudden I hear this bing, 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 mm -hmm. bing, 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 and I'm going, what in the heck is going on? Is that you over there? And it would always be one sentence. Is that over you over there? Is that you? Is that somebody? Is that someone who's using your name? Why are you there? there? Uh, do you know what Nanny Patty's husband said to me? You know, and mm -hmm. I felt so Good. flustered. I felt attacked. Yeah. My anxiety kicked in and I was shaking. I was near to tears because not in my adult life has any other adult come up to me and said, why are you in there? Yeah. Why are you in there? Awesome. And then I just went off and I couldn't do crafts for the whole night. She oh, my ruined God. my night. Mm -hmm. And I just told my husband about that. Uh, the other day, he, she, he goes, she did what? And I go, yeah. I'd show you the messages, but they're on Slack. Mm -hmm. Bing, 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 bing. And I just thought I was just getting email messages. And I go, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And I just started shaking. I was by myself. But luckily, I had my son's dogs. And I just was very upset. And I Makes and, you, you know, it, it is a lie. She mass messages everyone she sees where she doesn't want you to be. Even mm -hmm. though she says you can go and do whatever you want. Here I am. I'm a nobody to her. I don't have no dogs in this fight. <sighs> I have no dogs in this fight. I don't take sides. I don't say bad things about anybody. But she's attacking me. Why? Because she's insecure. Mm -hmm. That's so intrusive. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. And then I just went hidden all the time. All the time. All the time. I did confide in somebody. And she she chilled me down. And, and I felt better. And I just said, oh my God. You know. And it was like. And then I'm apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. But I knew what Gordon said. I read it. Mm -hmm. I read what Gordon said. There was nothing wrong with him supporting his wife. He Thanks. didn't stick in his... He didn't put his nose in her business. He's her partner. They support each other when one needs supporting because one is under attack. That's what a real marriage is based upon, to be supportive partners. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know? That's what we are. And then my husband says, should I call her to leave you alone? And I said, oh, no. Then the cops will be at our door. Possibly. Yeah, true. Very possible. You know, and I... She can tape record anything. I didn't say anything bad. I says, I have no ill wills toward her. I hope she gets better. She reflects better on herself and say, what do I need to change to make me feel good? These girls are not <laughs> sleeping. They stay up so late at night. I don't know how they function as human beings. And some of them are married, too. It's like, hello. With kids. With kids. Yeah. How, how do you do? I need, I need at least six, seven hours sleep. Just to function, to get my day through. You know? And they're constantly tired. Do you know that what it does to a person's health? Eventually, you can get heart disease. You can gain mm -hmm. heart, high blood pressure. You're a nurse. Now, yeah, and, and all the stress and just even listening to someone complain increases your cortisol levels. 
very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And and I did that. Um, oh, was it yesterday uh, on that podcast? Um, that woman spoke about cortisol is supposed to be a burst, a very quick burst. Right. But they're finding now, especially with social media, that the constant negativity and the stress is that the cortisol le uh, cortisol is lasting like 30 minutes. Right. And that's not good. That is very risky to someone's health. Um, you need your sleep. You don't get sleep. You're tired. Right. You're run down. Your brain never gets to rest. It's always there. You yeah. can suffer from depression, anxiety, and uh, other right. all other uh, ailments. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. You know, and to, doesn't anybody just wake up and want to feel refreshed and say, yeah. "Wow, well, I slept." Yep. Yeah. You know, when I get to sleep in at nine o'clock. In the morning on weekends, I go, wow, this feels good. Mm -hmm. I, go to, I go to bed no later than 11 because I take a sleeping pill. I start arousing about 6.30. But my rest is restful. I don't want to get up. But then do we ever want to get up to go to work in the morning? <laughs> you know? And, and so, but you need rest. You need to repair because sleeping repairs everything. It even helps with weight loss. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You it stay up too much, you're going to gain weight. Yeah. It, you're not it, getting it, enough sleep. It screws up your metabolism. Mm hmm Yeah. But they, they all seem to stay up late at night. I don't understand at all. That's another thing. I says, I can't keep up with these women. I got a life, you know? You know, I, I and um, I'd be listening, but sometimes I and then I would hear my name calling, you know, Nancy, where are you? You know, I'm sure she's not saying that anymore. When, when did you leave her? When did you leave her channel? Was it re very recently? <laughs> well, I started backing out about maybe six weeks ago. Slowly not going into the chats, no longer going into the Zooms. I just got tired of it all. And, uh, you know, you know, if a normal person goes to a channel, wants to change, you can change a name. You went to another channel, channel, you know. But with her, it's a big thing. Yeah. It's a it shouldn't even be an issue. It's the fact that it's an issue. issue is very stressful. I left because... I got tired of, you know, when I was in the Zoom hearing all these things. And then blessing that she knocked me out because I didn't have to listen to it. And, you know, and I didn't have to click to know, listen to what it was saying because I didn't say much. I didn't say much, you know. I just didn't. I just didn't bring it. She brought it up. She'd say, hey, did you see so-and-so? And I would say, no, no, I didn't. Because I didn't want to talk about it. I said, I'm out of the loop. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Because I kept it simple. You know, because, you know, anything you say in there is fair game to her. Everything you say in there. She will turn and twist everything you say. And I'm surprised she, she didn't record the Zooms. Who knows? Maybe she does. She probably does. The only the administrator, I believe, can record Zooms. So um, I'm sure she does. You know. Anybody can hit the record button, but if you, and it should tell you that it's being recorded, but if you start the recording before everybody gets to the meeting, then they won't know. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm, Clear. but I'm, I'm, I'm better. I feel better. I um, I'm still trying to hide the money I lost but from Ner Merv and all her napkins through my husband but slowly everything is working itself up and growing back you know I have to lie to my husband but he would he would not mind he would just say you just got caught up in it and I know it but I don't want him to know how stupid I was you know um I, I, I'm a good person. You weren't stupid. You were just generous. Yeah. 
Exactly. You know, well, and I, th I think you get manipulated because she has this demand of loyalty to her, even above loyalty to your own self. Yeah. And when she has a problem, it, it's more important than anyone else's problems. Yeah. So you, if her business isn't thriving, come on, people buy stuff. And she throws tantrums if she people aren't buying her napkins. But are you telling me, Nancy, that you bought a big order of napkins and never got it, and she kept harassing you for no. payment? No, no, no. Oh. I bid on it. I won it. She never submitted the, the bill for a while, and when she did, I was out of, I was on limited work, and I says, I can't afford this. She still has her napkins. She can sell it any, to anybody. She has napkins. I don't oh, have so She never sent them. She never sent them. She never sent them. Okay. Okay. She never well, sent them. Yeah. Okay, but. but yeah, where's the understanding when you were having a hard time? Exactly. And then she came after you. She you know, I, we aren't responsible for other adults on YouTube. They no. need to pay their own bills and handle their own affairs right. and be considerate of other people. Right. It's a blessing to have people come to your channel and want to be there. Right. And, um, I, you know, I got caught up. I was nice. And I know, you know, and I know how it is to struggle. And, you know, I have a full-time job and I just thought, you know, I could help and there's nothing wrong with helping our. You had good team. intentions. That's we, the difference. You had good intentions. It's, it's mm -hmm. not a bad yeah. thing to help humans, you know? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, but then I just started doing my own research and I caught her in some things and, and I, I, I went back I, and listen to things, and I said, that never happened, but she said it did, and, and I was questioning things, you know, before Natasha got taken down, and I would listen to what supposedly she said happened, and it didn't happen, and I'm going, you know, oh, God, and then when she'd start up, I'd say, please, you're just creating more problems. Just be quiet, you know, and no, she would just flat around I go oh my gosh now we're going to have more rift you know I would think and it just got to the point where it was a constant turmoil when when she was battling everybody you know um I, I try not to keep up with her too much anymore I mean the last week <laughs> and, and like you said you feel better since you've I left. feel That's better that's what's important. That's, I feel, I feel that's better. That's your priority. Absolutely. Um, I felt peace. No when one, I nobody worked. should be subjected to, to uh, I, that. I have never felt so good when Nan, when Dandy made that She called my name and I go, that's it. I know what I need to do. And I even said, I'll be right back. <laughs> and I mm -hmm. came back and I came under my name and it was, that was it, you know, and I said, that's it. I, I have no questions as to what I do to any. I haven't answered to nobody. I don't even answer to my husband. No, I answer to my husband respectfully. But I'm an adult, and and we talk when we when we have questions, or you know. But we've been married for forty five years. You know, we do our own thing. He makes dinner. I come to work. He's my house husband. Mm -hmm. We're you know, and and where was I going with this? We are two compatible people. Oh, and and because of all this, I was under stress for the last two day two weeks and I just needed to go. I just needed the clean break and Dandy provided it for me. And don't you ever go back on and sing anything bad about Dandy Merv because Dandy is sweet and I love that girl. And everybody that says all her stuff was crap, they're a bunch of bullshitters because everything I got from Dandy was as expected. As expected. I have never gotten anything bad from Dandy ever. No. no. You know, her stuff is great. 
I can't wait for my other box. My box coming in. Is that Taz? You gotta sell Taz to me. I'll give you some napkins. <laughs> yeah, everyone wave to Merv. Yeah, everybody wave to Merv. She yeah, don't know she's you, she's you recording. Leave, alone. leave everybody alone. Just leave, leave me alone. alone. I go my way. You go your way. I'm allowed to talk. I don't badmouth you. I just tell what I know. I, I, I got to say this is a polite conversation. I got to say it's a polite conversation. Mm -hmm. But would you talk out in public like that to anybody about somebody without the consequences? Merb, would you? Would you go up to somebody and call the, the names that you called Lisa D? Nana Patty, would you would you condemn Lisa H for being a fraud? Would you say that to her face? But you do it in the 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 chats where you can say it. No, no, she can't say it to somebody's face. She would never say that to anybody's face. That's the only place she feels she can control is her own right. uh, channel. Right. But but what's happening is people are leaving and have been leaving. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's not a conspiracy. It's, it's not. not and it's just people that. are individuals and they're getting hurt. Um, you're injuring them. It, it's, it's injury um, to people's mental health. And, you know, she's not stopping and people have the right to make their own choices. And even online, if you want to go to another craft channel, you know, you no should be allowed from that. You, nobody should question anybody where no. they go. You know, and, and that's it. That's what really hit me to that night when I went over my son's house and I was so excited to see Nana Patty on and we could do crafts because I even brought my iPad with me. And then to have that and I just shut down, shut down. I let her run me for that night and after many think many weeks of thinking about that then it slowly everything started fitting in place it was like i gotta get out of here but how do i get out of here in a safe way mm -hmm. i understand you know? yeah you know Since you've seen you've seen what she's done to and the other you know yeah. a safe way is leaving okay and she knows but she doesn't send me an email. You know, but she needed to do that. And I will not respond to any emails she sends me anymore because it's not worth it. It is not worth it. No. You know. That's the best thing to do, Nance. It's the best thing to do. Now, I know, yeah. I know Lisa D. I love Lisa D. I love her accent. I love her shopping trips. I, I just, she's just a charm, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, Dandy has my email if she ever wants to reach me, you know, just in case, you know, we, that we don't hit in the, the chat room because I do plan on coming back. Sundays are iffy, but I love that chicken dinner. Only if my husband would eat rice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, all your cooking was great. Of course, they, of course, she criticized your. I think it was your meatloaf or something. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. It looked. It looked good to me. It, it looked good. It. You know. It. You know. But that's her. Yeah. Right. Exactly. exactly. That's her. She has to bring everybody down to make herself feel better. Yeah, exactly. She has to feel superior. And and I mentioned it before that narcissists have very, and I, and I believe she is one, I'm sorry. I mean, but very low self-esteem. And that's why they constantly try to be better or, or rise above others to make them superior mm -hmm. so they can make everyone else inferior um, because their self-esteem is shot. I, shot. I grew up with a sister like that. Yeah. So I should have, I did see the signs, but mm -hmm. you know, I, I, you know, she'd have 
these uh, upswings and down crying spells. And uh, then she would use and abuse you for your friend, your friendship, you know, sister friendship. And I said, no, I can't take you anymore. You know, you bring grief to me. Uh, she she would take advantage of your kindness. She would take advantage of your money. She would take advantage of my mother's money when when my mother was going, uh, you know, losing it with dementia. I mean, I saw all of it. I I've seen it. Hers is a different variety, you know, because she's. I don't know. I don't have to like. It, I, it was you, Merb's behaviors were f familiar to to you, and yes, she may it, often speaks about that as well. She has siblings who, you know, and I had to cut the ties with my sister. It was for my sanity. I yes. says, you know, she uh, would send me emails that were bad. She'd leave me voicemails that were bad that I needed to talk to her, you know, or I'm going to come over there, and I just notified my police. And said, "Hey, what do I do?" And she's and they said, "If son, anybody shows up on your porch, don't open the door and call us." And you know, I'm not afraid if the cops come. You can do it, Mer. But I've been in this community for 42 years. You know, that's a I long take, time. I take it she has your your. Oh yeah, she has all my info. Yeah. And if you and if you dox me, or you done, or you do your do to deeds. That'll come around to haunt you because you don't poke a sleeping bear. That's not a threat. You don't poke a sleeping bear. Because you don't know what ammunition I have. Right. You poke it, I release it. Got it? Simple as that. You think I'm not that stupid that I don't have information about everything that was said in that chat room? I have it. Why? For my security. Mm -hmm. So you poke the steer, the sleeping bear, and I release it. And I have enough for a good book. So, Merb, do what you have to do, but you will suffer the consequences. That isn't a threat. Don't be calling the police. Because I have witnesses here that heard me saying, leave me alone. If you don't leave me alone, the, the sleeping bear will get her notes out. Right. Did you hear that, Merp? Leave her alone. Enough. Enough. And, you know, we've said it before, you, you have plenty of support. Thank God for Nana Patty, for Jay May. There's so many people who can identify with you. Um, you. You don't always have to go on a panel to be heard, you know? No. And, and I appreciate that you did, and that takes a lot of courage, and I thank you for that. But also, too, you know, you can connect with plenty of people in private, um, and yeah. they'll be there for you. My emails right on the about section of my my YouTube okay. channel, and uh, you know I I know many police officers in my community through my job. I have lawyers in my family that are even on television. I have, I have a lawyer that is through our pension plan that will help me. I have the I have the 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 things. If you take any of my personal info, to, and use it to dirty up anything, that's not a threat. I will go legal on you. I mean, I do have the the sources, not as much as you do or say you do, because you never show proof. She says she does. Yeah, she says she has like a thirty-five thousand dollar donation. Oh, really? Yeah. But she can't pay her taxes. Because sadly, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> sort of it's sort of in that that lawyer fund where you can only spend it in the lawyers. <laughs> well, I never saw her do any kind of fundraising like that. So, so I don't know how but, she got it there. 
but I have a lawyer that's in our family. I have another lawyer uh, that's a cousin. I have a, like I said, a pension plan that provides legal services. So that's excellent. So I don't have to pay to get what I need to done. But I'm just saying, if you dirty me up, I will go legal on you. And that's not a threat. That's a that's a violation of my personal rights. And that's all I gotta say on it. And I did not threaten her, did I? No. No. I just no. said do not no, no, it wasn't a threat like you think it is, okay? Do not call the police, okay? We're we're all here. We're all witnesses. Uh, don't be playing dirty again. Stop it. You just mm. need to stop her and move on. Because she has gone personal with everybody. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and, and her channel it keeps tanking. I mean, people are starting to see her for who she is. The only person that she's responsible for is herself and her channel. Mm. Right. She needs to stop blaming everybody else. She just needs to stop it. Completely stop. Take you know, the time to start building your channel up instead of pushing people you know, down the curb. There's so many changes that could be made where she could be doing good. Of course there is. But you know what? Obviously, I mean, I see her as someone who is dependent on everything and everyone. Okay? Two grown adults who need help paying their taxes. I'm a single parent. Well, my kids are adults now, but still I help them out. Okay. Right. I have two properties. I pay my taxes. I, I pay my bills. And if I'm behind on my bills, I eventually catch up. I might right. work a little harder, put more hours in. I, I just don't understand how two adults, both capable of working, you know, even outside of the house. You know what's the good thing about when you go out their to work? Taxes, their taxes, and they don't even have a mortgage. Yeah. You know what? What the, also the good thing about having a job that you go to and you make a wage and, and you build up your points with Social Security? Exactly. You're building up your own points. Your right. own points. Whereas I don't have, tires, she'll have no social security. I, I, I don't have to feed off my husband's because I right. worked. I, I've been working since I'm 17 and I'm 66 years old. That's a long time for me to work to build my points up. Yep. You know, I, I, and, and that proven that I've earned that I've earned my, Absolutely. my social security and I, I get my social it. security. I think a lot of people just think when they're 67 that Social Security is going to start paying them. It doesn't work like that. You have to put no, in. You have to have your points in. The you work, the more points you get. It's based yep. on your, your work history. And if you haven't worked much, you might get a check every month for maybe $90. You know, it, it depends on what you've put into the uh, system. But what are you going to do, Merb, you know? when you don't have the support of your channel, you're not working, um, and you get to that point of 67 years old, you know, I mean, I, I just, I don't I had, I I when people become dependent when it comes to, you know, their taxes. These are grown adults. Then sell the house. If you can't afford your taxes, then sell your house and live off the equity. Go live on a boat. I don't care, but I, I just I can't believe that people you know, pay my taxes. It's sort of like a purpose of getting up in life is to get up and go to work. If you like your job, which I do, I go and I do, and I come back home and I do life at home. I mean, yeah. um, I get my social security and my payroll check. And the thing about working in and collecting is I'm building even more points as I work because right. my social security check will increase every year because I'm still working and putting toward my social security. Right. Exactly. So I had to collect because I wasn't going to pay $145 a month to pay for Medicare because 
you can hold off. And I says, you know what? Let's just do it. You know, I lost my job because I got hurt on the job when, when a table fell on my foot. So my second job went away because I have nerve damage. And I said, I can't do heavy labor anymore. And then because of me falling down on my knees so many, I developed bad knees. You remember that, Nana, how many times I was falling all the time. So, yes, I do remember. And, uh, you know, and I've come to know, you know what? I deserve my social security check and I deserve to work. That's right. Because I believe my mind is productive. That's it. You know what I mean? You go to work, your mind stays active. You, 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 and you have crisis at where my job is and you learn to deal with them and you get on and you, 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 um, figure out a way how to do this and that, you know, whereas in life, if you stay home, it goes, what's for dinner? <laughs> you know, what's for dinner? You, you, know. you know what this says to, to all the ramblers who are still there, because we see it all the time. If you leave her, she will do exactly to you what she has done to everyone else who has left. There is I, no doubt in my mind, no doubt. So if you're staying there, you know, because you're afraid, you know, of the repercussions, her wrath of you leaving. You do have support outside of it. But to stay there because you feel threatened or blackmailed. Um, I don't think they really feel sad. most that way at the moment. I'm sorry? Uh, I don't feel like most of them that are on her panel right now feel like that. At least I don't get the, it's the sense that that's happening. Because well, there's so... New, newer? But um, I don't think they've reached that point yet where right. where they actually saw something that didn't happen, but she said it did happen. Yeah. You know, and and I can't I can't feed it to them because you have to experience it yourself. Exactly. You know, exactly. you know. And 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 I think unless they get in a battle where someone's right and someone's wrong, you know, that would be the turning point of maybe someone leaving. Now, I was never one that was like high on the list. You know what I mean? You, you sort of had your, your people on there. I was the quiet one. I'd come in, you know, I, I, in the summer I was more regular because I was, I, I was off of work, you know, I'd be more regular, um, but I would be hit and miss with me. You know, and and it's the ones that are continuously there that are, you know, being brainwashed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You say these things. You do this way. And I do get it. That's, you know, some channels went really overboard at times, you know, and it did get to me. And um, I, I, I had to quit certain channels because... It was too much of an overdose on Merv, you know, because, I mean, I got mad at BBT. I did say, I did, when on my last thing, I said I was mad at her because she doxed my name. Who did? BBT. When was that? It was, she was, oh, uh, when we were having that fight with the napkins. And I said, you know, and it was, I said, you could find certain ones cheaper and she, you know, you remember that, Nana. Yeah, and, uh, and, um, oh, um, it was about a week and a half ago or so. Yeah. And she, and I was watching and I says, Oh my God, my name's on there. My voice is on there. So I emailed her and I says, Kindly remove that from your video because it's, it's my name and I don't need it out there. And if not, I'm going to strike you. No, I can't find the video, nor do I want to sit and watch through videos. And perhaps you probably will take it out. Is that the video? I know she took a video down. Was that the one? No, I don't know. It was the fight. And, you know, I was saying, you know, I'm sorry that happened to you. I didn't want to make you feel bad. You know, she go, you know, and I felt bad because she says, I guess we're not having an auction tonight. And I felt horrible. I felt horrible. 
And my husband says, get off the phone. You don't need to do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I felt horrible because I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Yeah. And and then, I, you know, it just, things click. Maybe they, they click for others. Maybe it'd be longer clicks. But <laughs> it, it, since April, I have to say, Things were clicking that I was catching and what I would be rewatching and what she was saying and what I saw and and I just says this ain't right. And and then, you know, you watch people that, you know, show things and you go, My gosh, those calls are coming through her telephone. So why is she putting up her cell phone? Huh? Yeah. You saw that on BBTs. I go, why is she putting up her cell phone up in the, the microphone when it's coming through her home phone? Well, I th- what I saw, I saw email. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw was an email. Yeah, and and then someone said your email's on there or something. Mm-hmm. When she had... Um, Maybe she did take it down. I don't know. But that was the one that she got. That That's when that's when she wanted everybody to screen, screen record her channel all the time. Who? BBTs? Yes. For what? To catch her and uh, another lies of hers. Or things that can be reported? Yes. Mostly to show everybody how she's um, uh, uh, scammer. <laughs> you know, it's it doesn't same. surprise me that she records anybody. You know, the fact that she probably records me. She's you know? recording this. Hi, Merb. How you doing? Hello, Hello Merb. Merb. I have to say hello to you and Mont. Hi there. By the, Merv, by the way, Merv, I'm a two-party state. I don't give you permission to record me. Okay? Got that? Oh, but I don't care. I don't care. I have nothing to hide. I just have my personal info that I need to protect. That's all I am worried about. Yeah. That's all I am worried about. Because... We know from the past what she's been doing lately. You know, um, I just, just let me go. I won't say anything. Just let me go and have fun wherever I go. You don't have to watch me. Believe me, I'm not that important where you need to watch me. I'm really not that important. I'm just a girl in Michigan. That just has a lot of friends that wants to be able to speak with them. And that's all. Just let me go. It's okay. It's not a, this is not a game of who wins and who loses. It's it's yeah. life. Mark thinks that everyone else has a, a you know ulterior motives. No. No, she does. She does. People just want to be left alone. And they've said it over and over. Leave them alone, Mark. Just leave them alone. And go watch other channels. There's so many different things that aren't live that you can go and learn. I have learned about Alaska. I go over to Alaska and listen to Alaskans the way up in the in the cold cold. And they teach you about their traditions and how close knit of a community mm-hmm. they are. I go and I watch. I go watch people that uh, find lost, um, like the uh, the adventures, the deep diver ones. I watch that for the longest time. I have watched people that buy locker storages. I watch that. I have gone off. That's why you, sometimes you never saw me because I was watching TV and enjoying part of what I liked in life. And it just seems that these people just say, I got to go and sign into Merv. I got to go. I got to go. There's so much nice things out there too. You can also do Merv. 
but you can do other things too. Don't make yourself so unbalanced because it's just not good to be unbalanced and stick with the weights going. Your weight is getting heavier and the other side is going up because you're not being, you're not being open to other things in life. You're watching hate. You're watching people being put down. You're ta you're watching things that you know what you're saying over there. You know what you're saying over there. That, and I've said it before. You would never say that to anyone personally because you can do it over here in where you can stay behind a phone screen, a computer screen, an iPad screen. That's why I didn't say mean things. And if you want to find mean things, go ahead. Be altered. Because you know what? I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be perfect. I might have slipped. I might have said some bad things. But I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. No one is perfect. And you just give yourself nights off. Go relax. Never. Go watch The Crown. Do you know how interesting to watch it is? Go watch The Crown. It's five seasons. Ten episodes each. I've learned so much about England and their royalty that I never even knew that I've become so fascinated that I started reading about it. When do I have the time to do it if I'm sitting there over talking about, oh, I went to the Salvation Army, picked this up. Yeah, I'm going to sell it. Yeah, I'm going to go and do this. Oh, I hate her. Look what she's saying about me now. Hey, you, how dare you come over there? What do you want? Would you tell your children to support a person that's saying hate at them at school? Would you allow your children to talk to another child like that, like you're doing now to everybody? Mm -mm -mm. Someone's got to pay the piper. Remember. So many things I want to know, Nancy. So many things. Yeah. Well, we have to have a room. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you all. Okay. But you remember. Any kids have ears. They hear everything. They yes. hear everything. My kid heard a couple of our fights, and we don't fight very often. We have disagreements. And I would say, how did you hear? We were quiet. He goes, I heard everything, Mom. So they hear Mm -hmm. So how you talk on your private Zooms, they are listening. And they can be so quiet when they're moving around. You know, we are, their, we are our kids' first teachers. We teach them the basics of becoming kind, generous, responsible, respectful and it's not a moral compass as she says or core more or whatever it is it's called core ethics ethics and did I talk too much no, I no not at all okay. I was just thinking but you know if you're dealing with a narcissist you know and I don't want to for her. Like, like Jay May said, we're responsible for our own selves as adults. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she would need therapy. She would need, uh, you know, um, but, but just the pattern of this happening over and over. And, you know, she thinks she's in this safe and, and her channel is safe and she can do whatever she wants, but there's going to come a day she might wake up and find her channel gone. There no, are moles in there. There are, are <laughs> there are moles in there, though. There are, I, there are. I can tell you, there are moles in there. So, who she thinks she's talking mm -hmm. about are listening. 
Well, what I don't understand is if you're in the Zoom or the Slack or whatever, and you see her behaving badly, then why doesn't that show these people that are still there that she's not everything she pretends to be on screen, therefore because she's not sincere, she's not genuine, and I should look out. I should be careful and get she, the hell out of here. She turns it around. Mm. She turns around, and she's really good at that. Yeah, she twists things a lot. She turns it around. I can't give you specifics. But and I bet she cries. Yes. Oh. Yes. She uses crying. My sister used the crying deal to the point where I just walked away. Cry if you want. I never see anything wet come out of your eyes. Cry. Cry. <laughs> Go ahead. You know. I love you. I love you. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She would say, I'll try to do better. And, you know, she's crying. And then go, there's no tears coming out. There's no tears. When I cry, I cry. My eyes drop has she, ever, has she ever admitted that there may be something wrong with her? No. No. She never admitted that, but. I don't believe in group. Like that she may need help or support? I don't, she says she does group therapy on YouTube channels. I don't know. I don't believe in that. Is, yeah, group therapy. Where is it? I'll go. I, I mean, seriously, group therapy on YouTube channels? I think, I think it's like a group of people. They lost children, and I'm not bringing children up. And she does that. But you know what? I didn't lose anybody. But I also have had a parent that acted like they sh shouldn't act like that as a parent. And I grew up with a sister that acted like that. Yeah. And here I am. And I will say, I suffer from depression. There's nothing, nothing embarrassing about suffering under being depressed. It's hereditary. It is hereditary. I was a quiet depression person, quiet, until I got, when somebody, I couldn't express myself, and all I could do was yell, yell, trying to get my point across, and it never worked, it never worked, I got more frustrated, and then I talked to my son, and he says, you know, mom, there's people that will help you work your things out, and I go, really, you think I, I should go, and he goes, it won't hurt. And so I did. And you know what? It's the best money my insurance has ever paid. Yeah. I have learned to the point where I don't need it anymore. But, you know, you always need to be fine-tuned, you know. And um, what was it? You have to learn to clear your brain. You don't. Nobody has the right to rent space in your brain. Nobody has that right to stay in there continuously and rent space in your brain. It gets so full. And then plus your everyday things. I don't, nobody rents space in my brain anymore. I just laugh it off. People can talk behind my back. It would bother me years ago. I don't care. I don't care what you think about me or what you say. Or even if you put it out there and talk about it in real life. Because I don't do that to anybody. I would never criticize anybody for being depressed, seeking help, getting help, and living with it. And you know what? Because I can't get to my therapist because she needs to get her life in order. And I says, you know what? You have to take care of you first. Don't worry about me. Now, in order to stay in this one area that I'm at, you have to have a therapist along with your doctor, your psychiatrist, which gives me my, my depression pill. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, she has a private practice that doesn't require thera a therapist unless you want one. But you don't need it to be rechecked and say, hey, how's your medicine working for you? Are you feeling stressed, anxious? No, I'm not. I don't care about people. 
It doesn't bother me. I walk away. I've learned coping skills on people that want to make me cry or people that want to come at me. And, you know, I know the steps I need to take to keep me in control. And I took the step because I wasn't out of control. I just didn't like it anymore. It just wasn't filling of not a void entertainment wise. Because at least she talked about crimes, you know, crimes. And we actually battered back and forth, you know, and we read crimes and we, we expressed. And you did that mock trial, which was funny as all that. And, and you know, and, and but now it's it's so cut and dry. It just seems like, oh, I got to I got to do this because I've always done crimes. I got to read word by word. Go reading back. articles doesn't you to, go anybody back. can read it. I, I can read you an article, but that doesn't make me a, a true crime creator. Go back to having discussions about it. Talk about it. Have an open mind. Listen to everybody's. It's okay <laughs> to disagree and still be friends. But it's just, she just got away from it. It just, it. you know what it was? You know what it feels like I've been doing it so long because I still have to do it. I just don't know how to quit. But we got off counter. No, she never. She only did group therapy online. I don't know if she sees anybody, nor would I want to know because that's HIPAA. Um, There's no such thing as group therapy online. You know, it's like a where people I mean, go around. Group therapists. I mean, you know, I maybe mean, people that get around and say support group, support yeah. group. That's what it was. That's nothing because there's nobody actual, actually there to say, ask the rough questions. Right. And, and to teach coping skills and, and things oh, like that. Right. It's doing not, is, it's the, you know, we were denied her her grief from from the loss of her son. But damn it, you know, you're not going to use that as some, you no. know, like having immunity to hurting people and putting out that that you know false sense of you know everyone's attacking her and poor her. You know, she's lost a son. A lot of people have lost children, but that doesn't give a person the right to hurt other people because of your grief. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Um, you know, I, I, I've never been in her shoes, nor would I talk about her child. Yeah. Um, because that's not my place. But you also got to think um, what you're doing yourself. You know, what would my son want me to do? I know, it, I, you know, it's, it's sort of like you just need to seek help that doesn't coddle you. That's what I'm saying. Support groups are filled with other people that are going what, who you are. So they're all going to coddle you. I don't so, even think she's taken a day off since she, she lost her son. Mm, I don't know neither. I don't think so. It's very rare. She used once, to once because oh. the electricity went out. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Sorry. I, I, think, yeah. I think a long time ago, before she lost her child, she would take a few days here and there. But it's constantly, you know, you know, one right after the other. And I have watched family channels. And I watched channels that are about families on YouTube. And you know what? They changed up. They're going, I got to think about our family life. Here we are. We're only, only going to release films on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and maybe a Saturday. You know, and, you know, it. but people didn't. She, she I don't know. To hit the algorithms. That's why she does it every day. She's trying to get successful, you know, by... And that's how it works on YouTube. But, you know, at the cost of what? Your mental health. Your I, mental don't, I don't think she, she makes as much as I make a year. 
<laughs> I'm pretty like five figure up there, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't think she makes that much where it would be actually, you got to think, my health, my wealth being, I got to be right. I'm tired of people talking about me. I got to know what everybody's saying about me. That would drive you crazy. That's why I let go of it. I don't care what people say about me. But when it becomes real, I do care. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's why she needs to leave you alone as well. And she will. Believe me, I, di I didn't threaten her. I says, I have the legal capabilities of doing what I need to do to protect me, my family, and where I live alone. Mm -hmm. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about paying a bill because I have those at my hand. I don't want to use it because, quite frankly, it's sort of like, yeah, I have this lady on online that is really harassing me and it's gone real life on me. What can I do? Because it's an embarrassment. And these are people that, you know, Nana Patty saw it in the real. She lived the real for a week. She saw what went on there. You know, bless all your heart. I know you only from where I see you. I don't live with you, so I don't really know what goes on, you know. Because that's how I'm presented of your personalities. I can gather my information and I can say, you know what? She sounds nice. She sounds kind. I can get that. Mm -hmm. and, and over time, the period, when the, the personality is a constant, then you can say, okay, I see it. She's, she never wavers. She's always pleasant. She's always, hey, she's concerning. She shows empathy, compassion. Yeah. Then you could say that and say, oh, I wish I could meet her, you know? And then she'd be exactly what you saw. But, you know, just in maybe a, a few months to a year, you really don't know anybody. I've known Nana Patty for quite a while. She comes off as a very caring person. She loves animals. She kisses her animals like I do. <laughs> yeah. She loves to cook. Gordon is a saint. Yes, I said saint because <laughs> that's her partner, her companion. Yeah. And, you know, and mm -hmm. and I see that. I see Lisa D. How her husband helped her with the auctions. She he was right there. I saw helping her, getting him even addressed even before, hey, she's buying something else. We can add it to the box. You know, I've seen that. I've seen, who else have I seen? I've seen Dandy, a million hours of Dandy, mm -hmm. you know, and she's a beautiful soul. She has two wonderful kids. Mm -hmm. She loves her kids. She helps them to support where she needs to send them to the right school. That's, mm -hmm. that's class in my book. Um, as Muffets, I love Muffets. Muffets, I just, I didn't, didn't even call her Muffets. I think I called her Muppy or something because I could mm -hmm. never figure out what she, Muffets and Manilo. And mm -hmm. I always call her Muppet, Muppy or something. I always had a nickname to her and I missed her to death. I missed her because I love her <laughs> voice. I think it's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's like as cute as a button. And, and a Davida, I like her crafts. Bitey cat, uh, she's sort of like me. Don't bite, the, don't poke the bear, but that's okay. That's her personality. I loved her when I saw her. All her cats moving to Florida. Mm -hmm. She got to get rid of that alligator, though. Um, and, and I mean, and they come and go as they are, but you have the same ones that you could count on. And then when you all. <laughs> We all jumped. It was like, oh my gosh, where did everybody go? Mm -hmm. Where did everybody go? And who do you talk to? Because, well, you know, it's sort of like, you, and then the other ones stepped into the place slowly but surely. And they became like, oh, the new crew, you know, they moved up. And I really didn't know all these people. Like, I didn't know um, Carol Lucy much. I've heard about. She's been nice to me. 
Gail, she's been nice to me. Nicole's been nice to me. Sharon's been nice to me, you know, and, and, and they were nice back to me and I was nice back to them and I have no harm. I, I, I just cause I wanted to leave. I just felt like I wasn't, I just sat tired of watching the hate and seeing it on Zoom, yeah. you know, and seeing it in Slack. And I'm glad she cut me up because I, that was the next step out. She gave me a reason why, because that was that was sort of like corresponding. Hey, how's everybody doing? Or you're reading about a birthday oh, or somebody's not, you know, and that I lost that. Because I don't stay up till three o'clock in the morning to watch a channel. But just that's unbelievable that you have to be there at least once a month in order to stay. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and um, right. you know. I don't care anymore. I moved on. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, and you know, just surround yourself with with good, positive, loving people. Yeah. Um, I am. Again, you know, Nana Patty, Davida. I mean, <laughs> it's all those people you mentioned. Yeah, you can reach out to them. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, everybody just slept you know, because you know. I see their names and I'm going, oh yeah, I remember, and I'm going. And I stayed, and I was sort of like the last one, but it wasn't so much of that. It was sort of more, more <laughs> too much of the fear. What would happen if I just went over somewhere else? The fear. Mm -hmm. that, what, that was the main thing, the fear of what she could do. <laughs> but you know what, Merv? We don't have to worry about anything. If you just go your way, I go my way. And if I want to talk, I talk. But I'll always be polite, and I will never say anything mean and nasty about you. Unless but, she gives you reason to. Unless, yeah. Don't you like, dare, Merv. Don't you dare. You know. I, you, you know, Nancy, one of the reasons I stayed so long is because I loved so many people there, and I didn't want to leave them. Yeah. And, and I was the first person out the door. Yeah. It took, and, me, it took me two weeks to come to that conclusion. You know, and, and that's the same way you guys all left me behind, you know? And mm -hmm. it was sort of like, okay. And then you heard everybody that, that was leaving. And then they got bad mouth. And then they said this. Oh, do you know what this one said about this one? Do you need me to tell you what they said? I will tell you what they said about you, what they think about you. And then I'm going, oh, God. <laughs> What could happen if I leave? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What have I done? What what? And I'm thinking, well, I really never done anything. I really never you know, done anything. You know, I never, said, alarm. I never said one bad thing about anyone over there. The whole time I was there, and the whole time I've been gone, there's only been a few things I've said about a few people. But that's the only thing I said bad was when that. That 600 pound man came on and he was rude and crude. And I says, what are you doing here? You don't even belong here. You know, mm -hmm. and I did say that and I was mean to him, but you know, he plays up, you know, and you know, I just never liked him. I didn't like his personality, mm -hmm. you know, but that's the only bad thing I can think I said about anybody. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I value all the, the friendships I made over there. And I hope that one day, you know, you will reach out to me and talk to me because I will be respectful and I will talk back, you mm -hmm. know, something like that. It's not that we're cutting binds and you're never going to talk to me. It's an open door, but yeah, I don't think I just can... created a divide. So it's mm -hmm. sad that you have friends over in her channel. Right. And you leave and you automatically feel I'll never see them again. I'll never talk to them. I can't go like, over there and say, hey, you know, or email them because I'm sort of in and would be called an intruder. But if they ever feel like they need to talk to somebody, I'm free. I'm open doors. I, I don't care if you want to email me, you know, if you have my email address, you know, but, you know, and it's just that. It's not my place to go looking for those 
friendships that I had because I know what the outcome would be toward who I am. Why is she over there? And, you know, I didn't break the ties. I just moved to the new neighborhood. Just like everybody moves, they move houses, they move channels. And it doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful to anybody. You know, you just bid them adieu and you just got to learn just to let go of past relationships. <laughs> just let go and not talk bad about anybody. Everything would be okay. Everything would be settled down. Everybody's over there. Every, but it's not, it's just turmoil. It's, it's amazing to me how one person can create this much turmoil. It, it amazing. No, it sounds exhausting to me. It is. It's very exhausting. I just don't know. I, I can only, under, you know, how does anybody sleep like that? I know when I don't take my sleeping pill, you know, I'm like, oh, my gosh, it feels like my brain hasn't rest because I need a sleeping pill because my mind is so, mm -hmm. it just goes and goes and goes. It, even when I take a sleeping pill, I have to take a trazodone just to keep my mind lower when I'm sleeping to keep me under so I can get six or seven hours of sleep. Yeah. And you know medication. I take a tampazepam. It's a, it's a sleeping pill and it works wonders. It's a, it's a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. You know, and I take a trazodone to because about four hours I start coming out from the sleep. The trazodone kicks in and keeps me sleeping longer. And we worked on that for a year and a half. It's not like something I jumped into and said, give me this, give me that. We worked together as a team with my psychiatrist. He says, okay, we'll check. We went through every depression drug that you can name. And I said, nope. Nope, I'm still got that edge. I still got, and you can't just go for a week. You have to stay on it for a couple of week, months just to see because everything has yeah. to be in your system. So yeah. that took a long time to get my. Got to build up a blood level, yeah. Yeah, and then I, you know, I found found the great one, Christique. I says, great, okay. It's on. If you know anything about tears, it was on the tier one. So I had a higher deductible. And I said, okay. And then they changed up my plans and they go, oh, your, your 90 day supply, it's going to cost like $600. And I'm going, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. You know, and I'm going, I go, oh, please go to generic. And I talked to the pharmacist and he says, we got this in generic now. I says, are you kidding? It hasn't even been 10 years. He goes, yeah, isn't that eerie? Usually it takes like 15, yeah. it takes like fifteen to twenty years on some because they don't want to release the their their mm -hmm. their uh, whatever that the patent on it. And she he goes, consider this your lucky day. And I says, oh my gosh! So now I take now I get a, a ninety day supply for like twenty nine dollars. That's good. Bad. You know, so, yeah, you've put a lot of effort in, into your your self care, and oh yeah, I've always. You don't need that. one person on, on the on the internet on YouTube no. to to like you said rent rent space in your no. head. Um, no. It's not your problem, and she's responsible for herself, her right. actions. Period. Period. And I, and I, you know, I yeah. this is how I do in life now. Okay. I have yesterday. That's the past. Okay, it happened. I never bring it forward to the next day because you're still going to have the same frustration. Agony. You're going to be angry all the time. If you keep bringing yesterday into the future, into the present, you're not going to have a future. You, you won't because you're still worrying about things that happened three months ago. As for me, I take one day at a time my husband always says, why don't you think about the future? And I says, nah, you know, bills will come, bills will go. That's you how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I take one day a day. I don't think about anything far ahead unless it's something like, oh, my gosh, you know, we really think we need to be doing that. It's so expensive, you know, and, and you know, you, you get overwhelmed, you know, but I go smooth. I don't I don't think about things I have no control over because they're going to play out no matter what. 
And yeah. and the other thing I've also learned, everything works itself out in the end. Everything works itself out in the end where it needs to be. Mm-hmm. That is true. You know, and <laughs> my therapist says, you want to be my therapist? And I go, yeah, sure. Hmm. And we've only been together for four years. I'm sure I can do that. You know, and I hated to see her go, but I said, you know what? You have a family. You need to take care. You got priorities. You got to stop running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Because you have two babies that you need to take care of. And you were just like me. You were a married married mom. And you were the one doing the main things with the kids because the husband worked. And plus hold down a full-time job. And it, 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 so I was saying, it's okay. I'll be fine. Don't worry. That's my dog coughing. He's a chihuahua. She's a chihuahua. I had a chihuahua. I have a chihuahua. We don't know how old she is. She could be anywhere from 14 years old. Wow. Yeah. We, we, so where was I? So I, I'm fine. My life is fine. I don't think about the messes. I just don't want the hassle of a cop knocking on my door. I know. I know. Nobody does. Nobody does. You know, because I didn't do anything that bad or anything of that matter because I decided to go to another channel. Because I will tell the, the cop that. I says, yeah, I got a pissed off lady that I, she's on YouTube and I went to another channel because now she's all over my, my face. You know, oh, you got to be kidding. He would laugh. My cop Wait. would laugh. Most people would. He'd be like, huh? Yeah. And that, that, you know, she's taking time, you know. Because if I have to, From if I have to stand on my porch. In my pajamas. It's true, you left her channel. Yeah. Yeah. I left her channel. What is she she upset? People to do. Yeah. But, you know, I, like I said, I know many of the police officers in my community. I even know the drug enforcement officer in our community. I've known her for, oh God, 26 years. So, you know, I have a good relationship with the cops. You know, uh, you know, and I just don't want the hassles. You just go and do hopefully she'll she'll leave you alone. That would be the best outcome. She, she will leave me alone. Yeah. She would leave me alone. But I, I would worry about those moles in there, Merb. Because they are in there. Because I've caught a few little things and tricks and things that I've seen on other channels. You know. You know was it Jamie or, or Nana Patty that said, you know, if 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 there are moles in there and she's done nothing wrong, she has nothing to worry about. Right. She has nothing to worry about. No sweats. Uh, but you know. So I miss I miss the camaraderie. Camaraderie? What's that word? Of all the the old bees. You know, you come in, there's Nana Patty. And man, a patty is the sweetest thing, you know, and I, I could never stay up late for Lisa D because she would always go to bed early, get up early, go to bed early, get up early. Thank you. <laughs> Ivy, that's, um, she introduced herself or referred to herself as Nancy. Her avatar is a uh, sleeping bear. She recently left Merb's channel. Um, and Yahoo! <laughs> and the thing about it is, I wasn't like, you know, how we address the people in the community as someone on the, you know, a big one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, because you know, you you have your, you know, we all are equal, but you know, some are more per known more, you know. And I just was like a sleeping bear. Just, you know, there. I, I didn't say much. And, and, you know, I was more like a funny person, I think, or try to make jokes, you know, and that's how I am. My personality is humorous. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I just had to make a clean cut. Uh, I, just wanted, I just wanted to go to other channels. And when I went over to Nana's, 
I get an email saying that someone informed her that I was buying huge amounts of stuff. And how dare I do that because I still owed her $278 for the ones that I never paid for so she can send it to me. And if I don't send it to her, she's going to report me to PayPal. <laughs> Did you purchase? Oh no, you didn't purchase it. No, I no. just. I yeah, well, then, yeah, then let her take it up with PayPal for something that no. never occurred. No, That's so no. Stupid. I, I didn't pay for them. I right. didn't receive them. She has them. So where's her beef with PayPal? Right. She's right. not exactly. eBay. She's not eBay. She's not Etsy. Now, if you agree to pay for something on Etsy, eBay, or any other selling platform, yes, you will be flagged. And you have the, and too many flags get you kicked off. This is PayPal. This is a cash system where money transactions be made from one place to the other, to the other place to the other. Mm -hmm. it, they have nothing to do. Because no right. merchandise was sent. This is why people, when you're dealing with a merchant of any sort through PayPal, do it under the business. Business. Uh, do not do friends and family. Because, because of exactly this situation. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. When you send anything yeah, to yourself. friends and family, unless you know that person very well, I mean, know them through the bad and the thick. If something would go wrong, they would have your side or they would make it right. Do not go through friends and family because you lose all your value if something happens. They say, friends and family, sorry, if you go through business. Even even if Business. you know the person, I don't care how well you know the person. If now he gets lost. Here's the is, kicker. Here's you know the kicker. both of you are protected. The seller here's the, the kicker. Here's the kicker. Yeah. If you sell through on a business, you're protected, and they will go after the person that you didn't receive it. That's fine. You get your money back, and then the person will get bitchy at you like that happened with Linda. And I never received it. And she never even had the common de decency to tell me, oh, yeah, I got it back. You know how I knew I got it? She had them because I saw her trying to sell them again. And I said, those are the ones that I was supposed to get. Did she owe me apology for saying, oh, you got it? You got it. It was delivered. I said, no, I didn't get it. She said it showed it was delivered and it was a battle. She was she was not answering me. She was not helping me. So since I bought it through a business, I went to PayPal. She was pissed off. She said in all my so many years and decades of services, I'm the only person that ever filed a claim on me. Wow. <laughs> and she claims to be a business. And and so, but here, listen up now. So I did get it, my money back. She was bitchy about it. But you know what? She got her merchandise back because I don't know where she sent it to. I don't know where it landed. So she got her back because I saw her trying to sell it and she never sold it. Now, when you go do verbs, here's the kicker. With all the stuff that she is selling, if you go through friends and family, she is avoiding a 1099R. That's income. Right. Because if you do it through business, you have a limit of how much? A certain limit, then it becomes taxable income. Right. So if you're doing that and PayPal can look into something like that because it is fraud, you are selling you are creating income for yourself, but you're cheating the government. I have to pay taxes. Nana Patty has to pay taxes. You have to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. But she wants the free ride. No one has a free ride. There's two things in life that are assured, death and taxes. Old saying, but true. Yeah. And that's why she doesn't go through business. She gets very upset if you don't do it because she doesn't want to show that she's getting income from it. 
And another thing, if she's buying stuff wholesale through a wholesale dealer, they are not charging her sales tax or any kind of tax because she's reselling it because that would be double taxation. Right. It's so double. she's selling yeah. it without the tax. She's getting it without the tax. That's fraud also. True. Just saying. You know, what, saying. you know what she did to me? What? You know, when my son died, I, we did a um, GoFundMe. To yeah. Collect money for the funeral and to get his kids here from California. Yes. And somebody donated money that was always on the panel. Yes. And um, she talked them into requesting that money back. And um, so I had to give them their money back. <gasps> they came up with a story of uh, why they needed it back for a grandchild or something. And so I gave it back to him. Oh, my God. I'm mm -hmm. speechless. I'm speechless. Oh, that, that's a, how, do you that's know, a, how do you know that Merb <coughs> told her that? Did that person, how did you find that out? Merb puts a bug in everybody's ear because I have a situation right here. They did a preview of auction stuff. <laughs> a few people were buying off a grocery. <laughs> she said, hey, is it okay if I pay you this amount? And she goes, oh, sure. Oh, sure. Can I pay for this? And, you know, oh, sure. Oh, sure. And I said, I'll give you $35 or maybe even 40 I said, for that glass swan you want. I said, is that okay? And she says, that sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds really great. And Same then, okay? yeah, I'm going to jump down because I've got to drain my sinuses. Sorry, honey. Oh, so, um, Take I care want, of yourself. so, yeah, thank you, Jay May. I'll see you later. Um, so anyways, I wanted to purchase a swan. It was one of the, it looked at Moreno type, but it really wasn't because I did research on it after this is how the part went. So, she goes, uh, yeah, she texts me and she goes, oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to put it up for auction because Merv thinks I can get more for it. And I go, damn. Hi, Muppets. Muppets is here. Muppy. <laughs> so she, I said, no problem. No problem. You know, hey, I'll, you know, whatever, you know, you do, it's fine, you know, because you want to make a but money? Well, evidently, she had no buyers for it. Not at all. Someone said they looked it up and it was over $200. I did the research to find the perfect one because it was a present. Found it. Offered them $19 for the same type that I was willing to pay $35 or $40 for. Yeah. So in a good lung, it was a good thing that she backed out. She never sold the thing. She says she's going to keep it because it's that expensive. But Merb does put the bug in everybody's ear when it's not right. Or she never really, she did this before to me on one thing. I don't remember what it was. It was something that, I think it was a tray that somebody said, hey, if anybody wants it, I'll give it to anybody for free. And I says, I'll take it. And he goes, no, I'm giving it to uh, Carolyn. I go, okay, whatever. Because Carolyn needs more stuff, you know. So. But do, if anywhere where you go on auctions, don't do friends and family. Do business yeah. because it has to be accountable. Yeah. Because in the long run, someone's going to lose and someone's going to win and you'll be the loser and they'll be the winner. Yeah. Because... That's how it goes because you're supposed to be friends and family with them. You're supposed to trust them. I don't trust many people with when it involves money. So, but I'm sorry about that, Nana Petty. Um, yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, probably when you dished out the money to spend on it already, probably. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, when you're collecting money for a funeral, you you need the money pretty quickly. So I am so sorry for your loss. Yeah. Thank you. You had a rough year and a half, isn't it? Yeah, it was pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, you lost your sister as well. Two sisters. Yep. Two, lost yeah. Two sisters and 
my nephew and my son. So, yeah, it was pretty rough. A lot. Mm. Yes, that's a lot for anybody to hold in place in their heart and mm. go through this stuff because you, life is short. Life is real short. No one's given it the next day, that's for sure. Yeah. Nobody is. We wish we could have a next day, but when you wake up, I always say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Because I woke and up. That's right. That's, that's the first, first thing I do when I open my eyes. And when I, I open, I go, God. thank God. Thank, thank God I'm, I'm up. And then I wobble over and I'm going, dang me. <laughs> but I'm going to survive this knee. I'm brave enough to do both. I think I can do it. I know I can do it. I have the plans. And he says, dang, you want to be my assistant? And I says, I just, I just do everything like that. I plan things out. I plan to go to the rehab, which is a good outcome because they can still give me my pain pills in a higher dose or liquid yeah. pain pills. I can stay on the ice machine longer. Mm -hmm. I can. I can, um, what else can I do? And then I go home and then I'll have physical therapy, you know, from a place where I would go. I found one that's right in my neighborhood that also has one in my son's neighborhood, 30 miles away. So when I babysit his house for the two weeks in late June, that I can still go to therapy because it's right in his neighborhood. Yeah. Now, are you going to go to a rehab or a subacute? Like, like, is it a all rehab place that you're going to inpatient? I'm thinking on one, and I'm thinking on two. I mean, I have two thoughts on it. There is one that's a total rehabilitation, but I don't know how much my my Medicare will cover. You know, because that's how it is. I'm allowed a hundred days free. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. So even as long as they have a physical therapist and they know what I need, I'll do it. It's just that doing it at home, you sort of like, I don't want to do this. Let me just lay here, call, call them and I'll tell them I'll come tomorrow. You know? Yeah. Well, I just mentioned that because where I'm from, I know um, that the rehabs themselves, as opposed to subacute, like part of like a long-term care facility, right. the rehabs seem to have um, more equipment right. uh, and give more more time. Right. Um, no. That's just from my experience. From I have a lot of nurse friends that worked in both areas. Um, I used to when I did agency, you know, I used to go to subacutes. Um, and that was one thing I noticed that um, they lacked, you know, a lot of equipment. Right. Um, so, but again, I don't know. It depends. Like on in a nursing way. home? Yeah. Yeah. The mm -hmm. yeah. Well, nursing home. I've, I, been, I've, I've done both um, as a nurse and a case mm -hmm. manager. And you get three hours of therapy a day in a rehab hospital um, and a SNF or skilled, skilled nursing unit. I yeah, don't think, I don't think the requirements is high. No, I I think the the nursing home ones maybe you might get two hours. Mm -hmm. if you're like, um, but Def, because when my I know my daughter was in a horrific car accident years ago, and she went to a, a rehab. Um, she never ever would have gotten the care at a subacute that she got at a rehab. Never. Mm -mm. Um, but also, isn't it sort of like you know what you want and you tell them what you need to even no. get more? No, not there. At a subacute, you can ask them of all you want, but if if you get it, I you're lucky. You yeah, you'd be lucky. That's when mm -hmm. I should do research and make uh, uh, what are they called trips and look and see what they have. Absolutely, yeah. and you oh, have that yes. right. Absolutely, I have the time. I don't have to make a decision. Whereas, yeah. I and mean, you also call your your Medicare and say, "Hey, I'm going to have double knee replacement. What do you suggest? Or well, what do they offer? Like from what they they offer here to the rehabs versus subacute units, mm -hmm. um, long term care where they have subacute units. You know, what are the differences? Like Nana Patty said, like how much." physical therapy are you allotted in a subacute versus a rehab facility? What are the prices? Um, you know, um, 
So those are definitely things to look into instead of going in blind. And right, of course, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I know the one I'm thinking about, they sort of, it's, I think there's a limitation of how long you can be in there. So I don't know what it's all about. I know my brother-in-law, his stepchild went there when and she tried to commit suicide and she was like brain dead, you know, for a while. So they tried to, you know, do the skills. Now I did, when my mother was in the nursing home, and she was, you know, she was in a different part. They put her in the wing where you have physical therapy. They would come at least, I think, twice a day and they would make her get up. You know, she did occupational and she did physical, which refused on both, you know. But I've seen the equipment was there and, I, and I've been to physical therapy offices and I know what they have there also. And I know what they do because i've seen you know the you know when i went for my foot for three days three times a week for like eight weeks you know so i've seen what's can be done and what they can do you know just as long as it gets me to exercise where i don't have to be a burden on my husband because i don't want to be a burden on my husband i want to be able to go to the bathroom myself uh because he has copd and if i should fall he would not be able to get me up he couldn't yeah. even get me up when I fell in the bathtub. I had to fall out of the bathtub. Yeah. So just just call your insurance yeah. up and ask them you know, because have, your surgery have, is unique to you as opposed to you know someone else that you know that went to a rehab for right. something different. And I, and I also and think the that, surgeries are quite knee replacements have changed. Oh, Recovery they definitely have faster now, um, and. Um, just yeah, yeah I would tell insurance. Yeah, investigate. Yeah, yeah I, I, you know, there he says he also said that knee replacements have changed. It's not like the ones that you know that got them years ago. They right. totally change. They yeah. can do it in less than an hour or an hour and a half, depending on you know any mm -hmm. complications arise. Um, but what was it? Uh, let's see. I'm on my train of thought because I've been up at seven in the morning. Um, but he also says with one leg, your percentages of anything happen is like a dot one percent, a dot one. But yeah. when you do two, it goes up a little bit more. And then I asked him, I said, why? It's two legs. You know, why? And he says, because. You know, people get lazy. They don't want to start walking. You need to walk because you have to move your legs for blood clots and circulation. Mm -hmm. And believe me, I, I have very high tolerance for pain. I also know that pain is just a session. Pain will go away. The more you use it, the less the pain will be. Yeah. And I, trust me, you go to you go to physical therapy. They'll get they will get you moved. They'll get you moving in the hospital, right? Yeah, one one no more lying in bed for a week or three days with that machine. You know, I know. I I had I had multiple stomach surgeries. I had a hernia because I had weight loss surgery. I lost oh gosh, maybe two hundred pounds. I'm not sure. It could be up and down with the COVID. Um, but I, before that, I developed a hernia and they did surgery and it wouldn't heal. It just wasn't being infected. I had oozy pus coming out of my belly button. And then they did it. They opened me up again, cleaned it out, stitched me up and said, we're going to put you on some IVs. You have to go to a, a clinic because these IVs can only be used in certain places the doctor looked at me and says uh, 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 uh. if you don't go and have yourself opened and being healed from the inside you're gonna die so the next day i was admitted to the hospital i was cut from hip to hip and that is no exaggeration i was a big woman so half all her hand was in my belly packing it with gauze and washing me out with chlorine stuff. I felt like I was in a pool, you know, with so much chlorine smell. 
And then the nurse goes, well, we've got to train your husband how to do this because you're going home. And I'm going, what are you talking about? If I go home, I die. There's no way I can keep this clean. And my social worker came in and she goes, don't you worry. You just keep saying you're in pain and they won't release you because we're working on to get you that machine that is like attached and it has sponges and it sucks out all the, the infections. Mm -hmm. And I had it on, I had it for, I had it for, oh, oh, four, eight, maybe 10, 11 weeks. And she'd come in and she'd measure me and it was a very long process. And finally it was healed and I was out and that, and being cut from hip to hip and to move and to function, to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I did it. I did it. I didn't sweat myself. I did it. I did it all myself. I lived on the couch for three months. And then I had to give myself own IVs because I had two staph infections. Wow. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> Good for you, though, you know, and I think a lot of it has to do with the attitude, of course. And so, you know, you know and I'm thinking, you know, I'm trying to adjust my life, what is happening. I'm giving this, you know, another life. You know, actually, hey, you really fucked this up the first time. Hey, is there a sign that maybe you should be listening to? You were cut from hip to hip. You're not healing well. You're a diabetic. You've got sleep apnea. What are we going to do with the weight? You know, I and I thought, and I go, I go up to my son because he was, um, I think he was a senior. No, 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 no. He was a uh, junior, junior. And I was, every time I say, I'm going to the doctors, oh my God, mommy, you're going to be admitted to the hospital because it was like that. It was like that for months. Every time I go see the doctor, I was back in the hospital. So I said to him, I said, hey, I'm thinking about having weight loss surgery. What do you think? No, he was a, a, a sophomore. He goes, Mom, Mom, I've been through so much. You know, can we just have a little time off? You know, uh, and I go, I understand. It was a scary situation that your mom's in the hospital. She might die because he's seen the wounds, you know, and he, it's frightening for uh, what is he, a 16-year-old to see something like that in your mother and then yeah it, you know and so he says give it a year and see how you know and then do it i just need the time that i know my mom is going to be home you know and and and, and so i did and then we were packing up the school because we were doing a re um uh, we were gutting the school and changing it so we had to move to another school so then I had everything in plans. I tell you, I had, I, I looked up what do I need to get a bypass? I got every, every test, every test that I needed. I had it. Every study I needed, I had, and I was good to go, cleared it. And then they go, we didn't do an EEG. You know, the thing where they scope and see to make sure you don't have any ulcers. EGD. Mm -hmm. You know, and he go and our doctor, I looked at the doctor and I looked at him and I go, how did we miss that one? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so then they, they had to do it and then they found out I had an ulcer. Oh, geez. So, so if you have an ulcer, you have to be cured of the ulcer. And then you, I think it also has to, they have to do a culture on it because if it's a certain type of, you have to be on a certain medicine and just my luck. I needed that medicine. And then, so it's just not taking the medicine for a certain amount of time. Then you had to do it again, that procedure to make sure you were clear and it, everything was healed. So with that, that cost me like, oh, I was supposed to have it like in July and I didn't have it until September. Mm -hmm. I said, there goes the do you mind me asking how much weight you've lost? When I got weighed the last time, I was almost 400 pounds. Almost 400 pounds. I'm, I'm a little over 200. Good for you. 
but that's because I have I don't I don't have my belly weight anymore because I had the tummy tuck, but I also have big boobs. They weigh. I I can't do anything else. I have floppy arms. They flop around. I'm I can't do it. And so I have a lot of excess skin around, mm -hmm. which would be less to you know. But I don't care. I don't care. I don't need you know. I don't need everything to be erased. Because yeah. mm -hmm. it, 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 it keeps me grounded to know where I was. When I see my floppy arms, I see my sagging boobs. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I went, <laughs> I went to even have them checked, you know. I says, okay. Okay, we're going to do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. And I'm like, I'm getting all hyped up. And then I'm thinking, who am I going to please? Who am I going to please? Is it going to make me feel any better? I feel better already. I don't have, I don't have. I don't have diabetes. I don't have sleep apnea. I don't have high blood pressure. My cholesterol is great. You know, I'm still running good numbers. I'm none of that ever. I'm in a good place. I'm a healthy person now. Well, who cares about boobs? Personally, I just want to get rid of them. They have no purpose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got a good attitude, you know. You know, and so I do plan yeah. everything that I have control, just like I did my weight loss surgery. I can I control that with what I needed to do. And then with my knee surgery, I'm and plus I'm getting feedback from you guys because I need to know those conditions. I I don't want to go to a nursing skilled care and just, you know, sort of like this is all we got for you. You know, do your homework. That's all. But well, also, I had I had one knee replaced, and I did mine at home and did okay. Okay, uh, but I see with with my job, I can't constantly take time off because we're still in an employment uh, uh, crisis. To tell you, mm -hmm. we can't get enough of our support staff to support, and so mm -hmm. I thought, you know, but. I've also heard that people that had their duels, it says that they are very more committed because if you don't move, you're just not going to do it. And they mm -hmm. move because they want to get it over with. It's a one shot deal. One doctor yeah. bill, one hospital stay and mm -hmm. one rehab. So you mm -hmm. don't have to go because, you know, you go through that pain and you go, oh, I really want to do that again. Mm hmm. You know, and I I have the good thought behind it to get through it and do it, get it done, move on. And so my my good eyes will match my good knees, mm -hmm. you know, because I have 2020 vision now. I had the cataract surgery. I got 2020 there vision. Go. There you go. And so now my knees are shot. My My foot is numb because I got a bench slammed on top of it, but. You know, that will never come back. I, they say sometimes sort of damage is re reversible or it just comes. But th this isn't the kind of nerve damage like, you know, like when you're, you're nurses. So when you get an incision, you know, you, your your skin is still numb and you can pinch it and not feel it. Right. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. all these years, I can pinch my, my, my hips and not even feel them because the nerve endings I have not come back. Mm -hmm. And they probably never will come back. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's uh, what do you say? It's it, it's it's just that I've gotten so many opportunities to have a good life, and I want to continue on with a good life because I couldn't see. I went blind. I couldn't see. I couldn't see more than fifty feet ahead of me, and that's pretty scary. And to be driving. But I only drove like a half a block. So that wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. But now and then I have the knees. But with the gel, it has made a good difference. Good. It, you know, it, it was it, very expensive. But I have good insurance, you know, through Medicare and our sub plan. But I still going to, he says, we still want to do the cortisone shots. 
But he also said, how <clears throat> long are we going to do these cortisone shots? And, and then I said, I said, I thought you said that it's okay. We can do this, you know, as some people get them. And he goes, well, in your case, you don't got much left, you know? You yeah. know, cause he looks at the things and he says, you actually don't have nothing there. And it was just a grind on bone on bone, yes. mm -hmm. you know, grinding and grinding. And, and, and the thing is, my right one was the one that first started hurting. But then somehow they changed up and now the right one was is doing it. It is the worst. I can't figure that one. But I also know that when I always fell, I always fell on my right knee. Mm -hmm. right, and cortisone injections can uh, damage the, you know. Yeah, and he really, said, you know, it yeah, depends yeah. on what. Too what much of anything is never good, yeah. He's, he's, he's just saying there's nothing there so, anymore. Yeah. Oh, and, and the gel shots are good for a sort of transition to the next step, which is surgery. Because yep. you don't, you know, because you can't abuse that because it's it's getting you to. I don't know why they would just not do surgery, but I can understand it. I'm in a time frame. I can't. I can only be off of work for so long. I'm leaving work about a month early, but I also told my supervisor, you know, saying this is what's going to go. I'm going to get off in the middle of May, have it done, and then I have from you know, May until September to heal up. And I think I can do it. I think you can. I think I do. I got two dogs that love me. You'll be pleasantly surprised um, just, how your recovery goes. You know, and, and yeah. with, with my husband, he has COPD. He was in severe and he's never smoked in his life. And it's all through the factories of when he worked for the auto company. And having parents that smoked when he was little. So he's not as strong as he is, you know. And, you know, um, he can't take care of me, nor I, would I want him to exert himself. You know, mm -hmm. he's got my cold, which I feel real bad from, you know. And I just said, you know, do your um, breathing treatments three times a, a day until your cold goes away because you need to keep your air clean air clear and plus you don't want to get pneumonia oh i will get pneumonia i got the shot i go oh my god you <laughs> just did not say that he goes yeah i got the shot i won't get pneumonia. no you still can get it it's just a different type but like bacteria or viral or whatever i think that's what it is but um uh i can't depend on him i know he would do everything because when i fell in that bathtub i Oh my God, you would, I, oh, this is the story what happened. So I was taking a bath and I got up and the tub was slippery. So it's, I was still on my knees and I just barely got up, you know, I was lifting myself with my arms off the side and I slipped and I went into a crisscross applesauce with my kneecaps. You know how they sit in, you know, how the little kindergarten sit. I can't even do that. And I'm sitting there, but I slammed my oh. back. I slammed my back into the faucet. And I go, oh, shit. So I, so I had this great um, pain in my back. And my knees were stretched out because I was sitting like a kindergarten in my bathtub. Here comes the dogs with me in the bath, you know, bathroom because he won't stop following me. And he's barking. My husband goes, comes in and goes, what happened? I go, I fell. He goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, and then he's trying to lift me up and I says, no, just back up. Just let me get composed and, you know, do it. And I, I got out and then I I, walked. I felt like such an ass, you know, but, you know, accident is an accident. So I'm going downstairs and I'm laying in pain on the couch and I hear this drip, drip, clink, drip, clink drip, clink, clink, clink. And I'm going, where's that water coming from? So I go in my hallway right by my basement door and there's water coming out of the ceiling. And I'm going, 
when I banged into the pipe, I must have done something. Yeah. Mm. Well, listen, I, I hate to cut this off, okay. but I'm going to end the live um, and try to get to bed shortly to get a good night's sleep. Yes, we all need good night's sleeps. Nancy, thank you so much for coming up. Um, You're again, welcome. Again, anyone just coming in, Nancy is the most recent uh, rambler to leave. Um, if, if you haven't catched it all the beginning of my life to the middle it, it's we we did trivia it was fun and um so you can catch the second half uh when nancy comes up um you've got a good attitude nancy you really do um and like i said you know if we'll keep an eye out and we'll all be here for you if you know if things go south because of merb um um, so hopefully she will leave you alone. I uh, think she will. She I can mumble. Care. She can mumble all in the, the Zoom. I don't care. Just you know, mumble to the, your group. I don't care. Just mumble it there and just don't take it out of the the room. That's all. That's all I ask. I ask for respect. That's all I ask for. I, I and yeah, the fact that she uses Zoom like that for those intentions. You know, now that it's a twenty four hour Zoom. I mean, it just shows me that she's getting more paranoid. Like she's got to control everybody 24 hours. It's not healthy. No, it's never I would never put up a 24 hour Zoom. I mean, you know, we need to limit our time on the internet. Um, you know, and it's just, it's not healthy from, from what I've heard goes, goes on in her Zooms and in Slack and, um, we, we have to focus on our own health. Um, she's never going to change. I, I just don't no. believe she, she will never change, mm -hmm. change our direction. Mm -hmm. Her? No. Just, no. And like, that's just part see, waves and, and just her own self, you know, um, and pay your taxes, <laughs> for God's sakes. <laughs> Thank you, Nana, for stopping by and giving me support. You're welcome. I'm always here. Yeah, Nana Patty, thank you so much. And Merb, if you can't pay your taxes, then maybe you shouldn't have a house. Okay? Go rent an apartment then. You know? Mm -hmm. um, for God's sake, she doesn't even have a mortgage and she can't pay her taxes. Get up, go out, and get a job. Get a job. Like mm -hmm. all of us do. Yeah. All right, guys. You have a thank good so good much. night. Everyone in the chat, thank you. I've been reading comments. Um, Nana Patty, thank you. Jay May, thank you so much for coming up. I hope you feel better. Um, Muppets, I love you, girl. She's still there. Are, are yeah. you? Do you have everyone's channel, Nancy? Like Nana Patty? Do oh yeah, I have it? Nana Patties. I have Davidas. I watch them there. Um, I surf around. Okay. I surf around. And email, you know, email Nana Patty. It's yeah. in the About Me section, right, Nana Patty? Um, yeah, okay. You know, um, get some context. So if you ever need to talk to someone, you know, in private. And she um, has any questions she needs to ask me in private, I'll help yeah. her as much as I know, you yeah. know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Muppet said she loves you, Nancy. Oh, oh Muppy. <laughs> Yeah, that's so glad you're out of there. Yeah, I'm out of there. I'm in a good place. I'm you in are. a you are you mentally. This is the best yeah. thing you can best do thing. for yourself, um, is self care. And like I said, just surround yourself with whether it's on the internet or in your real life, you know, the, you know, the gig, so oh, know the gig. positive people and positive you know, people brings positive actions. Yeah, yeah. It's a win-win. So it's a win -win. Yeah. All right, All you right. guys, you have a blessed evening. And Thank I'll you. touch back. And I'm sure I'll pop over on Sunday. If, are you coming on live Sunday? Yeah. or? I, I, I don't know. I may come on later tonight on live. but you'll Okay, probably let me late. know. Maybe I'll hop in and chat, chat. Okay. All depends. Time, Nana Patty, what time tonight if you do go live? It'll probably be like around 11 or midnight. Okay. <laughs> And guess oh, what? Yeah. It's Friday. We can be tired at our jobs on Friday because it's only one day. That's right. 
<laughs> and Nancy, just to let you know, uh, on Nana Patties, we don't we don't talk about Marb. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No more. No more talk over there. No. No more talk over there. Yeah, we all want her, bright lights and yeah. Her live streams are great. They're really mm -hmm. fun. Right. I yeah. love Muppet's voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's cute. She's she, cute. She yeah. could go in animation and cartoons. She'd make a mint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you she go. Was. All right, guys. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you again so much for coming. Good and, night. And big thank you to you, Nancy. Thank All you. Right. All right. Take care, everyone. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. bye. Good night. Night.